my guys, we are back. This is the Juice Box. We welcome back our longtime advocate of the pod, our good pal, our good friend, Ted McDonald. What's up? What's what's up, my guy? What is up, my guys? <laughs> good to be back. It's always great to have you. So did did we decide this is seven? Right? I think this is number seven okay. on the pod. Is that is that a record? Oh yes. Yeah. Oh, record. what is? Yeah. Go- I don't even live here. Let's <laughs> go. You know exactly what this means, right? That in like next week or the week after, Uncle AJ yeah, will come on. <laughs> no, yeah. true. It, it, it will. Do I have this unspoken beef with <laughs> Uncle AJ? I don't even know him. Exa- <laughs> kind of like last time you were on. I think he was he was he was sending shots on the Twitter sphere that he, he was the longest tenure. Was guest. he really? He's in a ju- joking. Oh, he's yeah. not, very, not he's like, very oh. sarcastic. Not oh, like, that, oh that's that's fine. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. But I'm pretty sure this is seven, eight. If you're including uh, TTP, I I just I feel bad for AJ because it's it's been like timed up the worst possible way to where he came on right before Tig, and then we asked Tig to be on the podcast and not him, so he was bummed about that. Oh, and then Bubba came on, and then AJ was on right yeah. after, and we asked Bubba to be on the podcast and not him. <laughs> So like for for the first three three episodes, he literally thought he was coming for like an audition to be on the show, and like, which is fine. We just had no idea that was his thought. That process. is so funny. He took it personally too, and we had yeah. to be like, dude, no, that's like not you. You, yeah, you what, didn't like not make the did, cut. Did like, we hash <laughs> that out on the hundredth episode? Yeah, is that what that was? Oh, yeah, it's too funny. Which is crazy, dude. We're coming up on one fifty. Yeah, it's that exciting. is wild. Yeah, one forty-eight this week. Damn, um, that's actually insane. When was a hundred? I think I remember a hundred. Like, I feel close like it to was a year ago. Yeah, yeah I'm pretty sure I was here once, and I got I was on like ninety-eight or something. Probably it was something really close. Yeah, it's it's been I think this week, this week or last week was our uh, year anniversary with starting to go on YouTube too. So like time oh, okay. is just fucking it just rolls. Sure, that, that keeps on rolling. Yeah, that's actually wild. That it's yeah. speaking of time, speak, so I didn't mean to. No, interrupt. Beautiful. Just, just Any, speak anybody, about time. <laughs> <laughs> anybody ever get jealous of the trees? Yeah, you know. I want to know what your reasoning. Yeah, for the trees, I, man. What? They just get to see everything. They're they just, do. They live so long. The yeah. trees. It, it is do. so. <laughs> I agree. No, no I you. like where we're going. I, no, I, I enjoy this. The too. trees, because man. It, it, it's kind of like you could like uh, trees, old buildings. Yeah, like they just have seen. Uh, well, here's the thing. I was looking at nature recent, or t- it was today. I looked up at this tree and I was like, man, you know, I bet this tree has just seen a lot of stuff, and it's going to continue to we'll see, see a lot here, of stuff. Here's the thing with trees, you know, they get to like. They they re bloom every year. You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like they get a whole new, like straight up new. Yeah. They get to reinvent themselves they do. every year. They get to reinvent Imagine themselves. Imagine if we had that as humans. And it's like January every January first, it's like we shed fifty pounds. Yeah. It's like go ahead. Dude, wouldn't that be fucking crazy <laughs> it would if, be. if <laughs> we molded. once a year everyone lost their hair? That or, would be and, oh then, my it ca- God. and then it came back. No, we just shed our skin like snakes. That would be ugh. That'd be, that'd yeah, be like, really weird. And then, no, but like all the deads, and then we'd have just really fresh, we'd beautiful, we'd look moisturized youthful. skin. Yeah. Yeah, we would. That'd yeah. be pretty cool. Everyone look good. And it'd be, it'd be sick if you like went in this machine and it just kind of like reset, just reset your whole aura. Like, like you, all of the negativity from that past year, you hash it out. Like, it gets literally. Out. I think Thrive does that. They have that machine. Oh, they they have that machine. <laughs> like Shout literally, New Year, New Me, bitch. Like literally, literally. Whoa, wow, that's. That was, I mean, that was nice. Technically, <laughs> dude, if if everybody just did shrooms January first, everybody would find themselves and just reset. Dude, I fucking love shrooms. Man. <laughs> oh my god, that one time we did shrooms in uh, Colorado and. That just sounds fun. It already. was great. Just <laughs> <laughs> what's dumb about it is we did shrooms and obviously we want to be outside. And so we were looking for grass. And because we were already like, because we just wanted to lay on some grass. And so we were so fucking stupid because we lived in a neighborhood and there were yards everywhere. But we were like, do we want to sit on a yard? So about two blocks away from my house in Boulder was a cemetery. Oh, God. And so we were like, let's just go lay in the cemetery. And we had my, my roommate at the time was like our watcher he wasn't tripping he was just like watching us making sure we were okay so we we he took us to the cemetery and we're sitting there just rolling fucking tits 
rolling around, and then like fifty yards away is like an elderly couple paying their respects, <laughs> and I'm over here like, "Yo, do you see this ladybug, bro?" <laughs> like, yeah, it was, dude. Did you see anybody come out of the ground? No, I fucking should have, dude. That's the thing I like about shrooms, is, like acid and shit. That's where you're gonna start seeing and crazy stuff. Whereas like shrooms, it like it makes like brick walls look like they're like going into each other and it's like breathing that's what shrooms is it looks like the tree is breathing or like mm-hmm. like bec- i when i did shrooms i think it was the same time i have one of those zero gravity chairs you know what i'm oh, talking about damn. had one of those in my backyard pulled it all the way back and i stared at clouds for maybe two and a half hours and i will never look at clouds the same it just changed how i like look Cloud at clouds. watching it was nuts it was imagine yeah. the best way i can describe it is imagine you see clouds like you have the sky and you have this like puffy white thing but imagine it was like inverted and that the clouds were the sky and everything around it was like whoa the clouds. The clouds. Okay. that's what i was looking dude, at I, that sounds like that. you're like going through a di- different it, dude, dimension I, it was it, i look like you know what it looked like just because of how the clouds were it looked like there was um the grand canyon in the sky yeah. bro Damn. Like, see that's the, the best way, way i can explain described it. it as like the clouds being the sky and the sky being clouds made me think of the fucking pirates of the caribbean where they rock the boat upside down yeah and yeah. then they end up in the different whatever davy jones lock or whatever yeah. that's exactly but what you could totally of. i could like next time i look at the sky i want to pretend like the blue parts are the clouds I'm telling you, you can do yeah. that. I mean, yeah, it did. It's just, it's like, it's like a peripheral kind of thing. Like, I don't yeah. know how to explain it, but like nuts. It, I will never look at clouds the same. That is, I that's can't, wild. I can't speak on, oddly enough, I, n- I never did shrooms until post college life, which some people may find that weird yeah. if they know me. But when we were in college, our buddy Sith used to have a, a star projector. Oh, that nice. Was sick, dude. dude. Like, we'd get super baked and like, Turn off all the lights and put on the crazy star project. That thing was awesome. That's dope. like turn, that's a vibe. Throw on Drake, dude. Smoking yeah, weed dude, like, star projectors. Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, though, I mean, it, that was that was a sick vibe, and we yeah. used to do that. Uh, well, dude, that's that's like when because I I've I've never done like the actual uh, mushroom itself, but I've had the ch- I've got the chocolate bars. Oh, uh, okay, times. yeah. See, I'm where I'm talking. You know, you gotta well, get some stem. Well, it's, so like caps. That's when. That's when I stopped taking life so seriously <laughs> is when I did the chocolate bar and I was sitting on the shitter <laughs> and the and the wall and the floor were starting to come together and moving around and I just busted out laughing and that's when I was like, dude, I need to stop taking life so seriously. If if if, if these walls and shit can move like this in my brain. Yeah. There's nothing it's, to worry you, about you, anymore. It's the hardest I've laughed and the most I think the happiest I've been. I agree. Been on mushrooms. Dude. Without a doubt. Yeah. Just absolutely. That's that's why I'm I'm hoping they become like legal legal around here because I would just like to microdose. Yeah, oh, microdosing, yeah, yeah, yeah. Microdosing is fun. I actually I did I microdosed um a few months ago in June. I microdosed and then went to an outdoor. Um, it was almost like a farmers market, but oh, for yeah, I love but for markets. clothes, it was all like vintage oh, clothes and like like an outdoor flea it's market. Like a flea market. Yeah, 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 pretty much. Yeah, but it was all like vintage just stuff. It, it was I in L.A. That. and I, cool. I microdosed with my buddy and we walked around. And on top of just like it just being like fun because like you're outside. It's just oh, so it was just a hot. It probably had women. like the t-shirts with like those suns and shit on yep. it with the faces. Yep. And then and yeah, yeah. There was a whole there was a whole shit. like a bunch of different uh, <laughs> shops that were just like graphic tees, like oh, old yeah. graphic tees and shit. People were getting their cards read and like the auras out. Yep, and I'm out here just fucking yeah. baking in the sun. It was fucking awesome. Yeah. I've never, to be honest, I've never done shrooms before. I've never, I think you would like. Shrooms. I do too. I I do. I as well think so. Jake always says I'm like a stoner that's not a stoner. It's so weird how, how you act, the music you listen to. Yeah. Sorry, God. No, but well, he listens to country. That's no, but like just that, like that. See, that's that's yeah, that's just right. the it surface. Is, it is sad. Yeah. That's the, the surface. surface. You're right. It is sad. You gotta get. You gotta <laughs> get in internal. Like that's on the surface. I look like just the guy that listens to country. That's the best thing about L. A. And L. A. Sucks is that there's no country music ever. Ever. What do you, mean, dude? you went West Coast. That's a ever. good thing. Right? It's a great thing. Yeah. Dy's out there. Are you, are you kidding me? No, I listen to Dy. God. David, what's his name? David. I'm sorry. Uh, I for, yeah. <laughs> it, it's a, it's an it's an old WV rapper that has now became listen. famous on TikTok for doing country rap. Oh, you, you'll, you'll, lo- you'll love this story because you're a uh, you're a big um, Kendrick Lamar fan. Mm. So, yeah. 
yeah, there there was this rapper. He was from Morgantown, right? Yep. Yeah. So when we were in college, there's this rapper from Morgantown named Dy, and I like, think his name's David Morris. I yeah, think. I think so. And I don't know. We had heard him and heard some of his songs. Our Jacko liked him a lot, actually. Macchiato music. But anyways, Kendrick Lamar comes to Morgantown, and this is when uh, Good Kid, Mad City had just dropped. Oh, yeah, so I like remember he, that. He hadn't like hit the. Is that Welcome Fest? No, no. It was he played at. Uh, you're thinking the next year. You're right. He okay. came and played Welcome Fest the the year after okay. the year I'm talking about. So he comes to Morgantown. He plays this like small ballroom on uh, High Street, and we all went to see him. And Dy ended up opening for him. And this Dy dude was like two songs in and just started getting booed off stage. Oh, oh no. my <laughs> god! <laughs> and I, I felt like I I felt bad honestly. Like that sucks. But everyone really wanted to see Kendrick, and Kendrick came on and it was amazing. That did yeah, amazing. He murdered it. But now I had this revelation. I saw my my Brooke, Brooke was telling me or showing me on TikTok like a couple weeks ago. This dude, she's like, yeah, my friend from college dates this guy. He's a country rapper and he's blowing up on TikTok right now. And she showed him to me and he's and I was like, he looks really familiar. She's like, he's from Morgantown. I was like, what? And I started digging and it's the same dude. Oh he he rebranded God. himself well, hey, good to be on, a yeah, country like rapper. That. Good on him, dude. And now he's yeah, he's blown up. A couple of his that's songs a, have millions of I was views. having this conversation. That's kind of a thing right now. Like the like the country rap kind of guys, like Jelly Roll, you know Jelly Roll. Jelly Roll. I'm yeah. happy to say I have no idea who Jelly that Roll's is. honest. He's, he looks he's exactly sick. like you would think he does. Yeah, he does. <laughs> he does. Just a f- like when I say fat, like he's a, just a big fat white tatted all over the place dude. That's what would be like your sings and rap raps. name? My country rap name would probably be Lil Twig. Lil. Little twig, <laughs> little twig, <laughs> little twig. I was gonna say okay. potato wedge, and and the reason <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that is <laughs> fucking hilarious. I'll take that's a, potato that's wedge. That's the first thing Bro, that came to yes. my mind. Potato wedge. I'll take potato. I, that's that's a good one. Fire, yeah. That's a good one. I thought you were gonna say something that had to do with like flannel. Well, the, I I just was thinking Young twig, flannel. like guitar, guitar wood, and then just yeah, like yeah. everybody puts Lil in front of everything. Lil, yeah, little twig. Little I th- twig. I think it should be potato. Yeah, I like potato. I, dude, this was one yeah. of my favorite pastimes you could be potato in college. Skin. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Try, we would come up with like the what we thought were like the funniest or coolest rap names. Nice. We just used to sit around and do it. Nice. My rap name in college. West Banco. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's actually that like is, isn't that sick? That'd be pretty. Honestly, West I always Banco, think about it like this. Cool. When I think of like a uh, like a rap name or a band name or something, for some reason, whenever it popped in my head, I always think about a situation where there's some daughter or some son who goes to his parents and they're like, "Dad, can I have tickets to West Banco this weekend?" Does it sound cool when you say it like that? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Hey, can I go to see West Banco? Like, that sounds pretty hard. But yeah, like, yeah. Hey, Dad, I'm going to see Potato Wedge. Yeah. You look at you and go, what the fuck? Are you yeah. Going to are you see- yeah, p- Potato Wedge sounds like a screamo band. <laughs> That's like, uh, what's that fucking p- old movie, that re- uh, the baseball movie? Um, Sandlot? No, uh, Bad, Bad, Bad News Bears. Bad News Bears. It's Bad a remake. Bears. She's like, I'm going to see the Blood Farts tonight. He's like, the uh, Blood Farts? The <laughs> Blood Farts. Wow, dude, great, great fucking. That's a good movie. Man. That is Your references are sick, oh, bro. Dude, bro. <laughs> Everybody knows that. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I I don't need, I don't think I said it last week, but I did watch This Is the End. I've watched it like five times. And it still just holds up it on holds. another another level that, so that I forgot how funny it was. It's one of those things like when I'm watching it, I'm like so self aware of how much of that fucking movie is improv. And that's what makes it yeah. so impressive. Oh, yeah. Like you watch that movie and you're like, how the fuck these guys just come up with They're this? They're just shit? rattling them off. Dude. James it's Franco didn't suck any dick last night. Now I know y'all are tripping. <laughs> like, especially go watch the gag reel to that movie, and it's oh just, the gag oh, reel dude, is un- hilarious. Michael Sarah's dead. <laughs> Michael Sarah's dead. I guess it's not a total loss. Yeah, I guess yeah, it's not, a total, it's not a total loss. I love how much Jonah Hill's just a he's just such a prissy little bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Weed is tight, Jay. Weed is tight. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God! It dude. makes you wonder too. Is that really what he's like in real life? Like, is he, he seems really like the most humble man? Yeah, yeah. I, I think Jonah Hill's probably the sweetest, most yeah. like down to earth. He went one. to Boulder for a semester. Really? That was really? like always the talk. That was like, yeah, Jonah Hill went here for. I didn't. Like, that's awesome. Months. That's cool. Yeah, but, he seems the most down to earth. If you see like his, 
Like he seems very sensitive. Like, have you seen him? Yeah. Like when he was on, I think it was Jimmy Kimmel or whatever. Yes. Which yeah. is ass. He I fucking hate Kimmel. Fuck Jimmy I hate, Kimmel. Like, yeah, dude, I hate that. Oh interview. yeah, you look like you'd smell bad yeah, or something. And he was like, "What? Like that's how you're gonna introduce me?" Dude, like, yeah. <laughs> the old interviews where people are asking him about his weight. You see the interview with he's with Michael Sarah. They're talking super bad, and he flips on some dude. Yeah. And he's talking about his weight, and he's like, "I'm on fucking Atkins because of you motherfuckers." Yeah. Like all his shit. I was like, "Oh yeah, yeah, yeah." yeah, yeah. I was like, "Let I him go." Seen that. Yeah, for real. And Michael's like, "Jonah, calm down." Calm down, Jonah. <laughs> I dude, I I I think the f- again talking about way the fattest Jonah Hill, not to make fun of you, Jonah, but is it's a tie between the sitter and war dog. I was gonna say the sitter. He's oh. huge in war dogs. He is he's, so fat. He's war dogs. pretty big and accepted. Oh, accepted is another oh. one. That is another one. He's pretty Ask big in that. Ask me about my wiener. And, and that, that's that's like maybe the first thing I ever saw him in. I want to have sex. His grandma's boy, with girls forty year old like virgin. Well, I think I saw. Virgin, I think yeah. he has a small, yeah. He does have a small are these part. Can I buy these? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> got He's like, no, I, dude, that is a great here. scene. That is such a random scene. Yeah. It's so funny. <laughs> He's got some awesome fucking little cam. He, he actually has a great fucking small cameo in one of the uh, Night of the Museum movies. He does? Yeah. He's he's the security guard in like the second or third it's one. Probably the second. He's got a name tag on and it says Brandon. <laughs> And so fucking Ben Stiller's character calls him Brandon. He's like, actually, no, it's pronounced Brundon. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, oh, well, it says Brandon. He's like, well, it's pronounced Brundon. He's like, you should look it up. 1985 baby book. Dude. No, best baby names or whatever. <laughs> he's, he's, in, he's in Django Unchained, too. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Which is It'd like, be nice to see. Yeah, which it's just like so random. It had to be when they were filming Wolf of Wall Street. Because that those came out at like the same yeah. time. Close, it had yeah. To be that connection. Dude, he t- and he took the SAG minimum to work with Scorsese, so he mm-hmm. got paid fifty fifty grand to do Wolf of Wall Street. Yeah, yeah dude. I love that story to, about him. He just wanted to. I didn't know that yeah. actually. Yeah. Which and, is and fine. Leo got like what like a lot. twenty million like, or yeah, something, something like crazy. A lot, a lot. Yeah, he he has a great story where he's talking about Scorsese. He said it was like the second or third day on set, and they're doing a scene, and he's like, for some reason, it's not clicking. He's not he's not doing it right, and then. Scorsese yells cut and says, all right, everybody take five or ten. And then he says, Jonah, come here and sit by me. And he has Jonah Hill sit next to him, like, in a director's chair. And it's just the two of them on set. And then Jonah was like, yes, yes. So I sat down. I was waiting for him to talk to me. Instead, he just reaches over, grabs a newspaper, and just starts reading the paper. And Jonah was like, I just sat there for ten minutes, like, next to him. And then he was like, that, I understood, like, that's... He just wanted me to relax and just to do that. And then he was like, all right, you ready? We're good. Let's go. That's and then awesome. he, like, nailed it. That's really cool. I didn't know that. That That's is cool. cool. And he really does fucking kill his role. He's got an Oscar movie, nominated. Dude. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, what is it? Danny Ride, you're an Academy yeah. Award nominated. He's like, you got to sell that sell shit. That. There were fatalities. Fatal- That's better. Fatalities. <laughs> fatalities. fatalities. <laughs> Where was that in Green Hornet, <laughs> Seth? Yeah. <laughs> That's a dude, I, I like not to play off the joke of the movie, but that movie, the references in that yeah. movie are so amazing, dude. <laughs> so oh, it's great. Y'all met Channing Tatum? <laughs> that scene is so It's wild. funny because they like mention him early in the movie. Yeah. It's like Channing Tatum lives on this uh, street. Yeah. Jay's like, what's your obsession with Channing Tatum? <laughs> Dude, there's a. I was watching an interview. I, I might have been a Hot Ones or something, and they were talking about that. And Seth Rogen was on, and he was like, "Yeah, so we just we knew what we wanted to do." And I was like, "Well, Jonah like knew Channing. They were super good friends from like Twenty One Jump Street and everything." And so he goes, "I emailed Channing Tatum, and I was very honest. I was like, hey, we want you to be in this, and you're gonna be a gimp. You're gonna be a sex slave in the apocalypse.'" <laughs> and he was like, "I'm so fucking down." He was like, "He was like, I'm, I'm not gonna." beat around the bush like this is what you're doing he's like let's do it i i I watched (laughs) a small interview with seth rogan it was like a fucking clip it wasn't even an interview but it was a clip from an interview where he said that they basically lied to the studio to get that movie made yep like the studio was super against them playing playing themselves yeah and they just he was like so basically we just fucking lied to them gotta do what you gotta do yeah I, I, I saw a weird, and I mean, you, you'll you know more than this than me, but I saw a Matt Damon um, interview during Hot Ones, and they were talking about why they don't take risks on movies like that anymore. And I didn't really think about this. Like and he's what? Like, uh, like comedy movies, and like now, now all the movies that they create are big blockbuster theater movies. Like, they're not really... Studios aren't making, like... Um, yeah. Like a, a super bad, yeah, or like something. a super bad and stuff like that. Yeah. Basically, he was saying like that, taking a chance. Yeah, yeah. and right. he was saying how um, the 
elimination of DVDs just like destroyed that whole art of making those movies because they knew if they didn't make that money in the theater, they would get the back end DVD money. Right. Yeah. And now, now they don't get that anymore. And it actually opened up my eyes. I was like, that makes so much sense yeah, now. You yeah. said that was that really was from does. his Hot Ones interview, yeah. right? Yeah. That's, yeah. that's why we're yeah. getting like a lot of fucking hot piles of dog shit. Yeah, dude. I mean, I don't know. I feel like last year was okay for movies released. This year's been pretty good, but I don't know, man. It's been tough. I'm trying to think of what was the last year that was like really, really good. I think it may have been 2019. Whenever Parasite won, that year was fucking loaded for the best picture. I, think I would, that was I would, I would have been happy with like six or seven different movies that I would have been fine with winning best picture. Last year, I was fucking dog shit. I almost feel oh, like I what what fucking one last year? I was gonna say what even came out last year? I, I don't know. I don't what know. Won. Oh, um, I literally can't even think. Like twenty twenty, we're talking twenty twenty one. Twenty twenty one. Oh yeah, it was whatever when Will Smith slapped the shit out that Chris Rock. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Freaking <laughs> what uh, fucking one? What movie was that? What one? This what is, movie? This is gonna this kill is me. me this is pissing too. me off, dude. Um, what was the movie with Will Smith called? The uh, Father, Father, yeah, King Richard. King Richard, King Richard, King Richard. That's right. What that's the right. fuck? Yeah, but see, th- this is the problem in itself, right here. We can't even name any of the movies because none of them are. I, I just think oh, it's Coda. Fuck off. Yeah, I don't even know no, that. Don't, don't even know. One about, it was one about the. De- it was basically a Disney Channel original movie about deaf people. And uh, it was like, let's be inclusive. Let's yeah. give them the award. Fuck off. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. It's no, that's... Ho- uh, the Academy has become so fucking political, and it's just like, they haven't had the movie that should have won Best Picture. They haven't picked right in maybe 20 years. I mean, Parasite Parasite deserved it. I think that movie was fucking awesome. But every other year, it's just like, oh, wow, you picked the one about the yeah. transsexual... You're right. I know. You know, interracial person with... And you talk about COVID. Like, it's fucking stupid. Yeah. You're not wrong. Did y'all see Top Gun, though? Yes. Dude. I, I did Oh, not. dude, Top Gun. What? Yes. I haven't seen it yet. Dude. I said Top Gun was my what favorite ha- movie. So far, I, I, everything I everywhere to, all at once is mine. I have to watch that. movie. That movie's that. I, I it's on Amazon one. now. Yeah, Everyone something. Wants to see I, I can't remember what it was. What? That we all were supposed to go see it, and I had to back out at the last minute. Oh. But right? I, I've, I've said it a yeah, hundred, hundred times on here, dude. I thought... I mean, I know I'm straight, but I didn't realize I was a little gay until that scene where they're playing football. Dude, on the beach. and I'm really stoked because I was so like underwhelmed. I wasn't hyped on Top Gun because, unlike most, I was not a fan of the original one. See, I, I like it because it's you know everyone's like it's a classic. It's Top Gun. I like it for that reason. So there's a lot. Of, yeah, I never watched it as a kid. Me neither. So I didn't watch it for the first time until I was in college. And at that point, I'd already been desensitized to every story. Mm. So I saw it and I was like, okay, it's I, a cheesy. The I, mm. I kind of feel the same. I like it because of the fact it's like a classic. My dad grew up on it. Like he loved it. Was but the first I, time you watched it at the beach? Yeah. I, Damn. I think like all the way through as like a conscious adult like yes but like, yeah i mean we yeah. probably watched it when we were kids and i wasn't paying See, attention. i only saw it when i was a kid like, yeah i haven't gone back and rewatched the original one since I, I was probably dude nine. i wouldn't just because i mean if you know what happens you're, you're fine but oh dude the new one was it just is it's so, so it's well so shot good. it was such a good theater experience mm-hmm. like oh, that is a movie yeah. like you see, see it on the biggest yeah. screen you possibly mm-hmm. can. I, I wish i could explain how i felt watching it like like I, f- I was so engaged, like as if I was really there watching these guys fly these planes. Yeah, like, I mean it, the way they you're in the planes. With yeah, them. I mean it was, was like no CG. It, it was, was great. so good. I and mean I, the I, sound effects, just sound design was they'll they'll win Oscars for so sound design. So good. Like, I feel like I haven't watched a movie in a long time where I was other than the Marvel stuff that I like, but that's not including it. But that I was just dialed in the entire time. Yeah, like from the start. Oh, doubting. No, dialed. Dialed. Dialed oh, in. dialed in. Yeah, from yeah, the yeah. beginning till the yeah. very end, I was like, "This movie is phenomenal, dude." That's that's why you got to go see Barbarian. That's how I felt. Oh, dude, nuts! Did you see it? Uh, no, but I I watched uh, all the uh, Justin Long like press release interviews, and then I I love Justin. Here's here's me when it comes to horror movies, and I'll always be this way. I will read the full plot before I watch the movie because I'm a pussy. <laughs> I don't do okay. Okay, either. so I, I, I know I get where I you're at. I get where you're at. I do that sometimes with some shit. Like, I yeah. just I'm I've never been a scary movie person. I love scary movies, and see, I love getting scared. But because I've seen a ton, every I've almost come fully aware of when scares are coming. Right, it's so easy. 
Whereas Barbarian is smart because it's there are jump outs and there are moments where you're like, oh my fucking god, I can't believe I just saw that. But like the the beginning, it's forty minutes of just tension. It's forty minutes of sitting there like waiting and wondering if something's gonna happen. Oh, like Uncut Gems. <laughs> Don't you talk shit on Uncut? I love, oh, uncut, I love gems. Okay, yeah. uncut Gems. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, Barbarians like that where it just builds. You're yeah. like, what's happening? Like I'm so fucking anxious right now, dude. Yeah. That and that's what made it like. <laughs> yeah. That's what made it such a good theater experience. But in terms of reading shit, and I'm not proud to say this, but like all at the same time, like I don't care. I never watched Game of Thrones, but when season eight was coming out, mm-hmm. all my roommates and all my friends were like, we're throwing watch parties. And I was like, okay. So before season eight came out, because I just said I'm not watching it, I watched a two-hour recap of seasons one through seven. And I was like, okay, I understand it. Now you know where, yeah. I was like, I feel like that was great. I didn't need to waste all that time. But I'll, I get I'll the waste hype. All, I'll waste all the And time the thing is, even though I only watched a two-hour recap, I still thought season eight was dog shit. Yeah, <laughs> I, I hear you. So uh, with, that's a good segue. Are you watching the... I am watching, and that's the thing. I'm now watching House of Dragons. I'm yeah. caught let's, up and I'm... Let's go in on it, because I have a couple things before you got here. Go ahead. That I wanted to... Not th- I love the show, but the only thing I said with this time jump, I like, I like that there's a time jump, but I don't understand why they chose to age some people and not others. Right. Like, Sir Kristen Cole looks the exact same. Yeah. Damon looks the exact same. Uh, that, that not Ty Tower Hand of the King, the other one, I always forget their last name. Yeah. His second Hand of the King looks the exact same. See, I thought, I thought he looked, I, I get what you're saying. I thought he, he took his hair away. Yeah, he looked a little <laughs> fatter and like they took his Maybe hair Maybe I away. didn't just catch that yeah. one. Yeah. But you know what I mean. I like get that a, night, get Sir Kristen Cole looks the exact same and it's supposed to be like a 10 year time jump. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I, you're right. I'm with yeah. you. I've seen a lot of explanation as to why certain care they they didn't do in my opinion yeah they didn't do a good job aging Kristen cole yeah i mean there's nothing different but give him some gray hair give her some yeah no I, i'm i'm with you on there something. i do get the po- so like the people made a good point like the those younger actresses at like the first episode they were playing like 14 15 yeah. year olds i get them got up to aged. me too yeah and then obviously all the other kid characters yeah, yeah, too yeah. so there's going to be another yeah. 10 year time jump episode which is eight. crazy episode that 8 which which I didn't I thought there was only one time jump like the actual like war war that this show is going to be about yeah happens in another I think like 13 years from the last episode I'm very excited to see the adult versions of the kids me too, me too. very excited which about and that. I I uh was it you that sent the tweet that the director of this yes. episode is directed like Hard Home so Battle of the Bastards? He did. He always had all the big action. Yeah. Which yeah. one on F- this, this, this or the this one that's coming this week? This one yeah. that's coming this week. So, so this one should okay. have like the hype. Yeah, because where it's now up there. I should I should retract one of my statements. The, one of the episodes that I watched from start to finish, I was like, I need to watch the full episode. I watched Battle of the Bastards, Dude, and I also watched I watched a I watched a couple Finch. episodes of season seven. Like I remember. Watching the full episode where the Ice King brought the dragon back. I remember yeah. I watched that whole yeah. thing. That's a dog shit episode. See, I like season seven a lot more than others, I think. I just think, okay, I, and I know I didn't get into it, but from my standpoint, which would have been so much better, is, I mean, they ended it way too quick. Yeah. It should have been fast. season eight. They rushed Should have been they entirely about eight. facing the White Walkers. Would you yeah. know why they did that, though, right? Do you have any idea why they rushed it? Maybe. Because the, the directors signed a trilogy to do a Star Wars trilogy. So they were trying to rush Game of Thrones to get that done. And then their trilogy didn't even, uh, they scrapped the whole trilogy. So technically, Disney fucked up the well, whole. They played themselves. They did play themselves. I mean, Congrats, space, you played yeah. yourself. I mean, they, so that, so that, 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 that would have been that. better. Season eight, all White Walkers, and then season nine would have been the battle for the throne. You know, that right. would have been that would have been so much. better. That would have made a lot more Dude. sense. Which I did see. Amel- Amelia Clark said she was so down to come back as Daenerys for the Snow Show, and that's that's like the next big one is Jon Snow's getting a, a sequel spinoff that's after right. Thrones. Well, because so. they, I remember seeing something that's like the dragon took yep. Daenerys' body, and they're saying it may have taken her to, to the red, the yeah. red people. Yeah. I always forget what they're called. The red god, <laughs> they're or just whatever. the red priestess, yeah. and priestess, priests and priestesses. No, but I'm glad you watched Battle of the Bastards because that's a gnarly episode. I mean, yeah, my, pa- I mean, my, episode. my parents even sent Game of Thrones. I was like, I don't know how you're doing it, and they fucking ate that shit up. Whatever. Mm. 
You need. I, I know. Like, I think I'll send you an episode list because I know, like, oh, you, Game of Thrones. Yeah, you're. I'm gonna be honest with you. Probably won't watch it. But okay, <laughs> that's fine. I just. I, but I, don't, I know I, that there's not. some like earlier episodes that you'd like really appreciate I from sh- like a dialogue standpoint because sure. they're, they're oh, so oh, uh, they're I, so well. Like we I talked watched, about this yeah, last yeah, week. I actually. watched the up with Tyrion the, when he's in court. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's the fire, one. Dude. That's the yeah. one I that, talked. That's about. a great one. I've also seen the one after that uh, with the mountain versus um, the the Red Viper. Um, yeah. yeah. And oh, yeah. That's a that's a that's a, got, that's a good I mean, one. I've I, seen like I think I've yeah, seen, so you've like, seen the some best good ones. Episodes. That's like, yeah. I I'm pretty sure I tried to start Game of Thrones a long time ago, and I watched all of season one. I think I was just so pissed that Sean Bean died in another yeah fucking show. Right. Or movie but that season. but that's the that's hey you know what he great, doesn't die in that's the great what, what's the movie that Sean Bean doesn't die in National Treasure he. Oh, but he's arrested. It's Disney. Same thing. Yeah, he does come, not come die. <laughs> we, we, these two and haven't seen the it. The Martian. You've never seen the National Treasure? He's in yeah. The Martian. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's what I'm saying, whoa, dude. Whoa, <laughs> whoa, whoa. Time out. I, time oh, out. No. Y'all have never seen National Treasure. I'll say, dude, You're I've going never. going in I've on never, us again. I've never been it a Nick is, Cage guy. It is, it, that's fine. It is better than any history class you took in middle school. Probably. And it's all fictitious. And it's yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. It's so <laughs> it's good, bro. But it's so it's goddamn so good. good. I knew, I, it's I, amazing. I know I probably would like it, but it's like one of those things how Dude. you just said where you you literally told him that you weren't going to probably watch some episodes. It's just been like that for me. Like there, oh I have certain God. movies that I know I would like, and I'm just like, I probably won't ever watch. I, th- I, yeah, I want to do a thing on this podcast. Right here. I want to do something on this podcast. I've thought about this for a while where everybody comes up with something that they know one of us hasn't seen. And like that week, we all have to watch it for the next episode. Yes. I, yeah, I do. And discuss yeah. that. Yes. Like you pick something I, that I haven't seen, vice versa to vice versa. Yeah. That'd be and fun. like you have to watch it before the next episode. How about how about this? Because I'm not a regular. How about this first week? I give y'all something to watch. And then after that, you guys can do your individual stuff. I, I like it. Yeah, yeah. What, I, what I don't it? know when I'm gonna be back. I'm trying to think. That's something you'd all like. You guys have what platforms have this? What platforms don't you have? Streaming services. Yeah. You mean I got all. Of them. You got all. Of them? <laughs> I think I don't have Hulu anymore. We I think we pretty much have everything else. Okay. Hopefully. I've got the same as Jake. No, yeah. so no Hulu. Correct. That's a bummer. Yeah. Hulu's got some good stuff. Oh, are you do see movie because a series? You know, you got yeah, it, not enough time for. <laughs> okay, then how about y'all go? Let me look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You Let can, me look. You can think it out. But I, I, I want to go back to, we can go back to the House of Dragon talk while he's looking stuff up. Yeah, go back. I I, <laughs> I truthfully didn't dislike Rhaenyra kind of as much as, I feel like you said you didn't really. No, no, no. I, no, I just said that I love the younger version better. Well, for sure, for sure. No, I, did, I don't, I think she did a good job. Yeah, yeah. and I, I loved watching Sir Christian Cole get his face beat That was in. awesome. That was Yeah, dude, awesome. I love, and it's so funny because what's the guy with the, that has her kids? What's his Harwin name? Strong. Harwin. He is Rip Wheeler. He looks like 100%. him. 100%. In House, in, in Thrones World. Oh, dude, he's Rip I Wheeler. didn't expect his character to get dude, killed I off. Know. So I was upset. I was excited for and, his fucking character. And freaking Lena. Uh, yeah. Valerian died, yeah. and I was like, "Dude, come on! I liked you. You were pretty." Yeah, I just I think the whole the whole shit's gonna get crazy. JT didn't even see this. Did you watch the preview for next week? Mm-hmm. It's crazy that High Tower is gonna come back and be the hand of the king, and like, it is gonna be wild after seeing that still of Allison has a fucking knife up to Rhaenyra's throat, and Rhaenyra's like, "This is treason," yeah. and they show everybody's around like. It it, it kind of seems like v- uh, Viserys Some- and all them are gonna roll up the Dragonstone and be like, yeah, something's gonna go Someone's down. Someone's gonna die in that room. I think so. Did you see the still where like her? It's Rhaenyra and her two sons, and they have blood on them. Yeah, someone's gonna die. That's the worst part about fucking trailers. Yeah, you no, pick yeah. shit up. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Now I know what the fuck's gonna happen. Agreed. Yeah. All right, I got two options for you because I don't know if you've seen it or not. So the first one is: Have you guys seen The Gentleman? Yes. Love, oh, that I love, love that movie. I love that movie. I okay, love okay, that okay, movie okay, okay. so Great fucking much. Then my next request wow, is, have y'all so seen good. Collateral? No. no. I have not. Okay, it's Tom Cruise and Jamie Foxx. I love Jamie Foxx. That's all I'll say. All right. Okay. What's, it What's it on? It's a, it's a th- Netflix. Okay. okay. It's, like a, it's like a thriller. Okay. It's 
I'll give you a synopsis so you can get intrigued. It's Jamie Foxx is a taxi driver. Tom Cruise, he picks up Tom Cruise, and then you slowly you find out that Tom Cruise is an assassin, and he's literally going around L.A. killing his targets, and he's making Jamie Foxx drive him around. Whoa, and do it. whoa, okay, I like shit like yeah. that. It's a, it's a good, it's a good like thriller. Yeah, solid, solid did movie. You, did you like see that Jake Gyllenhaal movie? I'm not gonna remember what Nightcrawler. No. Nocturnal Animals. No, no, no. It's on Netflix where he's a he answers 911 calls. Yeah. Yeah. So again, what most people don't understand is that is a remake of oh. a German movie. Oh. Well, that's, I love That's I awesome. It. I loved the Jake But the Jake Gyllenhaal one was good too. Yeah, I liked it. But it's the, so the, different the vibes. German like it's nice. literally the same It's like the call. You remember the call with Halle Berry? She yeah. was a nine one operator. Yeah, like that he, one was like like trash. it's in the same like he's in the same. They call that room a, they the call time. that a, like well it's mainly for TV. But what uh, when you watch a TV show and the whole episode is in one yeah, room, yeah, that's called a bottle episode. Okay, it's reminding me of like uh, it's also real time uh, that Denzel Washington movie. Deja vu. Uh, no, <laughs> love that fucking deja. Uh, man taking on fire. of Pelham one two three. Oh, another solid one. That's a good one. That was that was a good one. You I know, remember you know what Denzel. Go ahead. Sorry. No, good. No, I'm done. Denzel movie. <laughs> Actually, this is so weird that the timing of you coming on the pod because I I rewatched this movie and it made me think of you because Thanks, we man. talk film and stuff. Let's do it. There's a Denzel movie and I've never seen another movie shot like this, and it's a great movie. It was one of my favorites, like in high school. Man on Fire. Yeah, that movie's got these weird abrupt fucking flashes and shit going in every like their lens flare. Yeah, like Michael Bay does that a lot. Yeah. They use it a lot in that movie, and that can be good. I think I think a lens flare can look really nice, but when you take like a Michael Bay project, he just overuses it to where it just becomes kind of just like overused. I, I think know. I think personally, going back and watching that movie, it's still the, that's a, the, it's a solid. Movie. The plot is great. That's the one it, with Dakota Fanning, right? Yes. Yeah, it's a great plot and everything. But after rewatching it, I do think they overused that effect a little bit. Yeah. But still, like I said, very, very good plot. I thought you were going to say John Q. That's a great movie, too. That is a great movie. Have you seen that movie? I have not seen John Q. It's actually, a, basically, in a nutshell, he's try- his daughter's trying to get a kidney transplant, and he basically, essentially, hijacks a hospital to get her to the front of the Son. Line. It's a oh, son. Or son. That's, yeah. that's, that's a good movie. It's fucking awesome. You know who's in it is E. Yeah, E Who? is in it. Oh, Kevin Connelly? Yeah. yeah. Oh, fuck, dude. I'm, I'm hoping to see him pretty soon, actually. Um... Because the last time I was here, I don't know, two times ago, whatever, was when I was working on the, like the Charlie Sheen show, mm-hmm. um, where you spelled Nick Cage's, Cage's name wrong. Right. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. uh, <laughs> but that's looking like it might be getting uh, picked up. So, uh, and then I'll hopefully like get back on that. But that'll be sick. That'll be, that'll be sweet. But yeah, I, I, I was with somebody who was on the phone with Connolly the other day. So, will it be sorry. HBO? You think? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what they're doing. I think it's it's more of like they're getting, hopefully they're getting a distri- distribution company that'll be like, hey, here's X amount of money for X amount of episodes. And then from there, you then sell it to gotcha. the streamer like that. Um, oh, fuck. What was I going to say? Because I just fucked that up. I don't know. Moving on. What's, uh, no, what's, no, what's been going on in the LA world? Dude, not you get much, any man. good food? It's any food trucks? Dude, yeah, there's a good, um, there's a really good taco stand nice. like a block away from me. Um, <laughs> let's see here. I saw Selena Gomez. Oh, no man. way! A couple weeks ago, she was at this bar I was at. Whoa. And it was, dude, it was so funny. I was. I would have fainted. I, I would have fainted. So my mom was out. My mom came to town, and she wanted to go with my roommate. My roommate is gay, and so she was like, "I want to go to the gay bars with you." And we were like, "Okay." So that's honestly. As a, as a heterosexual male, going to straight bars, or sorry, going to gay bars with, like, your gay, with your gay roommate is a fucking blast. I'm sure it's fun. Because it, it's so fun. <laughs> Everyone's having a good time. And, like, and from my side of things, like, the women who are there, their, their mindset is, I'm not going out to the regular bars. I'm hanging with my besties, so we're going to the gay bars with them. It's just single women everywhere. Do you want to you know, know what's funny? <laughs> is I have never heard any straight person that says that said that they went to a gay bar, s- say that they didn't have a great time. Exactly. Yeah. I, the one in it's Morgantown. It's crazy. Vice. I went to Vice a few times in Morgantown and had a blast. Dude, yeah, dude, they're so fun. But um, so, so Selena Gomez, I was at the bar and these two 
women came up and they were ordering drinks and I just like started talking to them and they were from Australia and they were like, yeah, we're just kind of like walking around. Like this is like a vacation for us. I was like, oh dope. You having a good time? They're like, yeah, we just saw Selena Gomez in the back. And I Fuck. didn't even hesitate. Didn't say goodbye. Didn't say where, where is she? I turned around and walked to the back and I walked in and I like turned a corner and like just kind of like tried to play it off. And she was in the corner with like a group in like a roped off area. But oh. Damn, Damn so hot. Did you say sup? No, I wish I did though. Did you say, hey, Selena, <laughs> let me buy you a drink? <laughs> Dude, I should have. You know what? I, I fucking should have. I should have. And I look back <laughs> no. at that. She's got that cooking show on HBO Max that I'm pretty sure is like Dees. Yeah, I haven't watched that, but I do watch her show with Steve Martin and uh, Martin Short, uh, Only Murders in the Building. That's I heard on, that's That's fine. on Hulu. It's actually, it's fun. It's fun. I'm a big Steve Martin guy, Cheaper by the Dozen, which still holds up. By the way, recently watched Cheaper by the Dozen not too long ago. Remember the knockoff Cheaper by the Dozen? Yeah, Cheaper by the Dozen two. Oh, oh yours, mine, and ours. Yours, mine, and ours. That's that was so that was a remake of like a movie from like the fifties. I actually oh, like wait, it. Dennis Quaid. Dennis Quaid, yeah, that's right. And Rene Russo, Drake mm-hmm. Bell is in it. Drake Bell. Shit, I thought you were talking about the remake. And uh, what's his face? David Koechner or Koechner, whatever. Oh yeah, he plays like his friend, yeah. the dude yeah. from Never Back Down. He's like, yeah, he's the older <laughs> son yeah, or whatever. Right, yeah, Never yeah, Back yeah. Down, yeah. Great, great, movie. great movie, solid well, see, movie, see, great I, movie. And it's crazy because I great see, soundtrack too, yeah. even though it had so, Amber Turd. So good, yeah. but we're I all see, Team Johnny Depp here, right? Team, yes. Yes. Okay. of course, <laughs> uh, of course. <laughs> Everyone's, but I would like, everyone's like, oh, I knew Evan God, Peters before you when he was in fucking American Horror Story. I'm like, dude, Sleepover. I met Evan Peters and never back down. Bro, like, I met little... Evan Peters and remember Sleepover? No. Nope. No. Bro, that was 03. This is a total like chick flick for like eighth grade girls having a sleepover. Hell but yeah. it was a, kind of movie, it was a fucking banger. I watched I watched this movie not too long ago, got super high and was laughing my ass off because it's so cheesy and so bad that it's amazing. Evan Peters' character's name is SpongeBob <laughs> in the show. <laughs> yeah, I swear to God. It's uh, awesome. Hey, you, you, no, again. Isn't he in Kick-Ass? He is in Kick-Ass. Yeah. He in the, he's in the first one, right? Yeah, he's yeah, in the yeah, first yeah, one. Yeah. I don't know if he's in the second. He might be. But, dude, and he's just coming out. Dahmer. Oof. Yeah, I won't. I'm not going to watch it. I don't, I don't think he's in the second. Heavy. I think they, they replaced him in the second one. I think so. But huh? I wait. What? Kick ass. Yeah, oh, kick okay. Ass. I was like, what? But Which yeah, the I, second one's a piece of shit. Second anyway. one's garbage. Yeah. yeah. I uh, well, since we're talking about kick ass, that one scene with Hit Girl in the hallway is like one of my favorite cinematic scenes. So good. Period. It's a uh, bad reputation in the background. Mm-hmm. Oh, so good. Dude, fun fact: her stunt double for that movie, and they they don't do this anymore. It's like not allowed. Uh, her stunt double was a short Asian man. Like doing all the oh, and really? shit. Oh, that was her stunt double, and then they made it. That was like nowadays. It's like it's a woman. You should have a woman stunt man. Or hey, stunt woman. Shout, shout out. The so they changed that stuff. Stupid. Dude, okay, this is somebody brought this up. I think I may have saw it on. No, okay, so on uh, Wednesday morning, or was that yesterday morning? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, yesterday morning. Yep. I, <laughs> <laughs> yesterday morning, I went to work out with my mom. My mom goes to like a workout class. I'm like, okay. And I go with her at 7 a.m. And it's my mom and, like, three other women in their late 50s and 60s and then the trainer. And the gossip they were having was fucking hysterical. I couldn't do half my workout because <laughs> I was just laughing. One of, these, one of these ladies was talking about, so there's Hurricane Ian that's demolishing Florida right now. And one of the ladies was like, <laughs> and I don't condone this. This is just what she said. She was like, God, just wait. There's going to be an uproar because none of these hurricanes have black names. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, dude. <laughs> dude, I was thinking about it. I was like, yeah, you know, there hasn't really like a hurricane like Deshaun or something like that. But then I made a, I made a comment. I was like, well, it, you know, it probably wouldn't show up if it, you name it a black name. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> my Lord. No. <laughs> Kidding. Jokes. Go- yeah, no. No. Oh, no, you're right, though. <laughs> women women and their gossip, though. Dude, Jeez. it was great. One girl was talking about how she, uh, this, w- this like older woman was like, Yeah, I now have a concealed carry. <laughs> <laughs> like, Jesus. Dude, Hell yeah. The fucking Hell video yeah. you that's tweeted earlier Virginia. that's like re, uh, re going viral is the one with Biden being like, To prepare for the hurricane, you need to get vaccinated. Dude, I Dude, thought it was a deep fake. No, that's a real video. I didn't know it was real. Did you guys see what he did? It may have been yesterday. He is at a press conference and he's talking to senators. Oh, and yeah. He's like, I know you're He's say. like, Where's. 
where's Jackie? Come on up, Jackie. And this Senator Jackie died two months yeah. ago in a car crash. Yeah. Oh, my God. And then he's he like, did. where yeah. is she? Yeah. Like, it's like, where's dude, Jackie? That's awful. Dude, yeah. he's the, the worst, bro. Oh, my no, God. No, but you mentioned how whatever you were watching and you laughed really hard. That movie with Evan Peters or whatever. Sleepover. It brought me to something I was thinking about yesterday. Is it me or, like, when you're by yourself, all right, you're just chilling, watching whatever, and something really funny, and you're just, you're not really laughing, though. Like, it's hysterical, but you're you're by yourself, right. and you're just kind of sitting there, and you're like, this is so funny, but I'm not laughing. Yeah. But when you're with a group of people. You're dying. You, you're dying. What is that? I don't know. I was thinking about this yesterday. That's a good point. I was thinking about, I actually thought about this the other day because I was watching, I showed my mom a new, the new Andrew Schultz stand-up special. Oh my God, dude. Bro, unreal. So I watched it. It was my third time watching it on top of already, I saw him last summer in July of 2021 so and his set was the same. So I saw him and then a year later the special came out and it was the same set. And then I watched it twice. I'm showing my mom. And if I if I watched it by myself, I think it's hilarious, but I would never well, laugh yeah. again. See? But because my mom is just laughing out loud, right. I'm like, I have to laugh right. out loud now. Right? Yeah, that was my point. It's so weird because... That is weird. And like, if you and your, your boys are texting in the group text and you guys are saying something funny and you're like, laugh my ass off in all caps, you're Straight staring face. at your phone blank face. Oh, yeah, absolutely, yeah. bro. Like that, what? It's so it's such a weird thing, and that's why I was watching Billy Eichner did an interview on BFFs, and he said that was one of the coolest parts about Bros that's coming out is yeah. because he said they they opened it in like Toronto or Vancouver in a theater, and I guess regular people could pay to go see it while other people were in there, and he said it's b- been so long since like an entire room is just belly laughing the entire movie. That's great. So that's that's why I'm excited to go see it and cuz it's a Judd Uptown movie, but it is weird to think that like this is probably the first gay big rom-com. Like in, in terms yeah. of this I this mean, yeah. I mean, yeah, honestly, I would say that I you know what it is? I think it's it's I've seen like there's they've tried to make like, you know, gay-centered stories like that. I think this is the first one where they're trying to make it seem like a definitely a rom com, but to me, with you know saying like from Judd Apatow and stuff like that, and Nicholas Stoller who did Forgetting Sarah Marshall and um, Neighbors, it's like they're taking Neighbors, Pineapple Express, Super Bad, all those movies, and they're just making it like gay. Yeah, which is like great. It I mean, is I great. I, I'm I'm pumped. I'm so it. excited. And, yeah. and I guess his I love Billy. His big Billy point. Awesome. He's so fucking. His funny. big point is like normally a character like this would be like the secondary or like the third yep. character to where the, he's actually the main character now. And that Nick dude did uh Friends from College too. That Netflix show. I love that show. Never, got never watched. Got never canceled watched for no reason. Way too early. Very good show. There's so many shows that I watch nowadays or i'll see somebody watching it and i'm like how did this get made how did you spend millions on this piece of fucking garbage Mm -hmm. oh it pisses me off pisses me off so much like what like how outer banks is so fire (sighs) and you hate it that shows ass (laughs) i literally watched like 15 minutes with my roommate who was watching it season two and spoilers and he was talking. I'm like, what's going on? He was like, well, this character doesn't have a dad anymore. And I was like, well, one, relatable. But two, <laughs> <laughs> but two, dark, dark, I was, dark I was, humor. <laughs> but two, I was like, yo, I was like, bet you any money his fucking dad comes back. Yeah. I right. watched it for 10 fucking minutes. I'm like, this is the most predictable shit in the world. Yeah. But I get it. It's got that like, ooh, they're edgy. They're yeah. from the South. I need to, and yeah. they're hot. Dude, no, I'm sorry. But you <laughs> I said, never watched What it. you said reminded me, I'm sure you guys, I, I don't know what the show or what they were doing. It was it, what document, whatever it was. It was uh, Pete Davidson and Kevin Hart. Like, Oh, it was the roast. <laughs> and they're in someone's house, and oh. Pete's looking at these pictures, and there's just a family. He's like, oh, very nice. He, he picks up a picture. He goes, oh, you have a dad. That's cool. Then he goes, what's that like? <laughs> and I was like, dude. That is fucking hysterical. Dude. And Kevin Hart just starts fucking Bro, rolling. Bro, so that's the thing <laughs> that I've definitely, and my roommates, they get it so much, and I feel bad because they don't know what to say. But I have been, like, I one way that I've been co- coping with, like, losing my father is I've been, I joke about it like crazy. Mm. And 
one thing that gets me off is just seeing people's like soul leave their body because right. they mm-hmm. don't know what to say. Yeah. And I just I'll bring it up randomly, like if my roommate will come home and be like, God damn, dude, I'm so tired. I'm like, that's cool. You have a dad. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> just like, I just like, dude, I do that shit. Mortified. Oh, but dude. also, like, I will say, I will say a highlight of losing my father is that it's the best excuse to get out of shit that I don't want to do. People are like, ah, oh, how you doing? I'm like, I don't want to go. And they can't say a fucking right. word. Because yeah. if they do, they're like, what do you mean? I can just be like, well, you know, today, four years ago, my dad ate a PB&J. And <laughs> it's really coming back to me. Dude, it's, it's like, it, it's a <laughs> different, <laughs> it's different, but the same. Like, me and Brady always joke about this, because we'll, we'll root for Florida, because that was Jacko's team. And, like, we'll go out and wear all Florida stuff, and we'll have people walk up to us and be like, why are you rooting for Florida, dude? And, like, the best is when you just look at him and you're like, I just hope your best friend doesn't die. <laughs> like, you just say shit like that. Yeah. I remember doing that at Generations right after it happened where we're rooting for Florida and LSU or whatever. And some kid's like, why are you rooting for Florida? And we just were like, eh, you know, I was joking with him. Right. Yeah. But just looking at him and being like, well, that was my dead best friend's favorite <laughs> thing. They don't know what to say. It, like, puts everybody in the most uh-huh. awkward dude, situation. Oh, my dude. So I got, so I got, a, I got a tattoo on my forearm for my dad. Oh, and nice. I was, um, I forget where I was. I think I was on set. I was on set working on something. Oh, I was working on the menu. Have you seen the trailer for the menu with Ray Fiennes and Anya Wait, that Taylor sounds Joy, so familiar. But the restaurant. It sounds the so Voldemort familiar. Yeah, and yeah, then yes. Anya Taylor Joy. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So I worked on I worked on that for like a week, doing the uh, uh, additional photography, and I was PA and I was working there. And the woman who was like the production manager, um, I or I was talking to the one of the producers or something, he came up and he saw my tattoo and he was like, oh, I like your tattoo. Like, what is that? And before I could say anything, one of the grips came over. Grips are the guys who deal with like all the lights and shit. They're usually like 45, smoke a pack of cigs and they're just like, hell yeah. 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 Up. And the dude comes over and he goes, that's, he's, yeah, it head to toe. And he goes, that's not a fucking tattoo. <laughs> and he's like, <laughs> I was like, okay. He goes, what is that? And I was like, oh, it's for my dead dad. And he was like, <laughs> I was like, I was like, fuck. I, but see, like, I didn't give a shit. Like, yeah, it's yeah, whatever, yeah. bro. It's like, <laughs> it sucks because it, it is like the get out of jail free card. Yeah, I know. And the thing is, say. it's like, odd. Like by the time, by this time next year, it's like I can't use that anymore. Oh, you can. <laughs> <laughs> Trust Absolutely. Me. You Absolutely. can use it as long as you would like. Oh, uh, bro. Yeah. Since True. this convert, this mini conversation is brought to you by your dad. I want to say, I always thought growing up that your dad looked like Nicolas Cage. Dude. I agree with that. I've I thought it my, I've enti- heard, my entire that, life. I've heard that. I've heard um, somebody who said he looked like, um, kind of like Javier Bardem. Okay. A little bit. Okay. Like older, okay. like older, yeah. not like nowadays, but a little bit yeah, like a few years that. ago. Yeah. Because I, I would see your dad randomly quite often in the morning when I went Probably to like Sheets. sheets. Yep. Yeah. Dude, dude. Yo, there was a woman... My dad went to Subway every fucking day for lunch. The cashier from Subway came to the wake. Wow. That's wild. Oh, that's... And my mom was like, who are you? <laughs> she was like, I made your dad sandwich every day. Yeah. <laughs> I, was oh, like, I was like, all right, that's what's so up? That's so nice. Dude, yeah, now that I can like... That's so wholesome. It was like, dope, it yeah. <laughs> Dude, yeah, random people saying like... Uh, yeah, I was, that, was, that was definitely the cool thing. I got some messages from kids that I like haven't spoken to, and he was like, dude, yeah, your dad one time and during Little League did this, and I was like, oh, that's dope. So d- having that was great, but um, like, I mean, I, I can talk about it now, but like the f- week of the funeral... I was fucking hammered for seven days straight. Yeah, it was a because I had all my cousins. As as weird as it is, as much as it was like the most traumatic week of my life, I got to see cousins I hadn't seen in a long yeah. time. There was I'm I'm one of thirty two first cousins wow. like in my whole family. So insane. just family alone at the funeral, there was like sixty three, and not everyone came. Mm-hmm. So we had like sixty people in my house sometimes, and. We were getting buck wild. Thirty two. Yeah, my mom's one of seven, and my dad was one of six. That's Holy insane. Fuck. Yeah, so my oldest. <laughs> <laughs> That's so many first cousins. That's my oldest lot, yeah. cousin is forty one, and my youngest one is four. And the, so the younger ones, like the four, four, six, and ten, they weren't there, but like everyone else kind of was. And dude, I was just ripping cigs with my cousins, smoking weed, getting fucked up. I was so hungover. Oh, like I know man. you, you came to the wake or. Yeah, it was like Friday or the funeral or whatever. I was so hungover. Like, literally, I kept having one of my cousins kept bringing me coffee because I was oh, so man. fucking hungover. And I was seeing my high school teachers, and I'm like, what's up? I'm fucking, 
<laughs> so hungover, just depressed. Like, what's good? Like, this isn't a good time. Oh, I know. No, it's just because I'm hungover. <laughs> it's not a good time right now. Sorry. <laughs> I don't want to talk about my test in fifth grade at this moment. No, no, no. They were cool. They were cool. Um, but yeah, no, that was that was wild. And then my fucking um, my roommates came. My roommates from California, they came out, which I was stoked that they did. But they came in on Thursday night, and the funeral was Friday. Thursday night was we had just family at our house afterwards. And so they got in at like 8, and I was like, hey, it's probably just, I'll see you guys tomorrow. And they were like, okay, is there a place to go get like a drink? And I was like, yeah, go to the 19th hole. It's just, it's a barn. And they were like, oh, LOL, that's funny. And I was like, no, it's a barn. <laughs> and then they were like, I got a text that night, like, yo, you weren't kidding, bro. Yeah. Like, Dude, it is a barn. Yeah, bro. And then literally, I was coming home. I was coming home. I was like, yeah. And they were like, oh, you going to the 19th hole? I was like, fuck yeah. I had 19th hole today. I loved it. What'd you get? Uh, black and medium. Okay. Dude, that's it's okay. Good flavor. There's two things that I don't get in LA just because they're not really like around or they are, they are, but I just like haven't, it's not as easy as like, oh, this place clearly sells tacos. There's a good sushi place by me all these other like meals whatever i never get like a good slice of pizza mm. i like haven't found a good place or whatever i'm sure there are i just don't want to google it and i never find a place that has wings because you, yeah. you just the people i'm around and just like where i am you know i don't go to like there's not really like sports bars anymore like pizzerias like if you're going to one of those they're usually like they're usually like bougie or like ne- neapolitan pizza type shit um but i mean Food's fucking great, dude. Yeah, dude, like I, I've been, I've talked, me and Andrew great, have been talking, like, I wanted us to go there, sp- like, dude. specifically for all, like, there's a lot of, like, a big Latin food. Do there's a lot no, of Latin The food amount there. of fucking like, cholos that are yeah, around, bro, I wanna go, everywhere. I want to go specifically for, like, all these food trucks and shit. Dude, that if I've y'all, seen. if, dude, that's what I'm saying. One, I've said this to definitely to JT. Y'all definitely got to come out because you're obviously more than welcome wherever I'm at. But two, you do a juice box from LA. That's hilarious. Yeah. That's fucking dope. That's hilarious. And then, yeah, dude. But then just like come out. And I also, I forget, I said this to somebody today. When I have people out now, it's like when I lived in Colorado, if you're coming out, you, because Colorado, especially Boulder, it wasn't like touristy. It's like you don't need to go see the museum or whatever yeah. the fuck. Like we definitely, like we got to go on a hike. We'll go here. We'll go here. We'll go into here, whatever. And I've told my friends, and it's, and some of them have done it. It's like when they're coming out to L.A., I was like, you're not coming out. We're not doing anything touristy. If you want to, we can. The Walk of Fame is a shithole. All these museums are fucking stupid. They're just a, a hodgepodge of bullshit and money you don't need to spend. It's crazy traffic. If you want to go to the beach, let's we can go to the beach, whatever. But it's realistically like you're coming out to fucking hang out in yeah. L.A. I'll take you to some dope bars, good speakeasies. You'll eat. Like a king, the food there is great. I but you're literally just coming to like fucking hang out. I want to yeah. find Jeff Wittick. You know who Jeff yeah, Wittick I know is? Who he is, dude. I would, I would like. You see, you see. I mean, you see some people. Um, I mean, you do see a lot of celebrities. On same night, I saw Colin Farrell Whoa. walking on the street, and then like as I was going into a restaurant, and then when I went in, seated five feet away was Tommy Chong. I was like, Who's that's pretty Tommy dope. Chong oh, is Cheech and Chong? Okay, okay. Tommy Chong was the big stoner old dude from that 70s show. Okay. Is is LA and New York City or are LA and New York City? Are they probably the only two cities in America where celebrities can walk up and down peacefully? Do you think? Peacefully? Not not peacefully, but like if Colin Farrell walked down the street in wheeling, everybody would probably be surrounding him freaking out as where in LA and New York that's probably a more common thing to see a celebrity. So I think you got it kind of twisted in the sense that m- many of the people who are in L.A. know who those people are. So they will flock, and you do see it. Like when I, I yeah, that's when right. I, when I was, I was in a, uh, a brunch spot, and we saw Florence Pugh. <gasps> I think I said this on the pod. <laughs> we saw Florence. That was like a year ago, maybe. And there were like I was just standing there, like at the at the bar, waiting for our table, and you saw people like taking their photos and, like, subliminally. I bet you any money Colin Farrell walks on the street, nobody. That is true. I, I did get that back. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I, exactly I knew what, what you meant. Yeah. What you were, I, yeah. Yeah, what I you were calling. Whereas, yeah, I, yeah. Think it, I think in L.A. Well, see, L.A. is tough because there's not a lot of places where people are, like, walking around. It's not like New York where you walk everywhere or you take the subway. You're in these, um, you're in these positions where you would see them. 
you're driving everywhere. You, like, I don't really, there's a few places I'll walk. I have a grocery store nearby that I'll walk to. There's a Target that I'll walk to, a restaurant or two that I'll walk to. But if it's not that, I'm fucking driving or I'm Ubering or I'm scootering around. Um, but you do, you're more often than not going to see somebody at a restaurant or a shop or like I've seen, uh, I saw somebody at the movies once. But that's, I've never, I've only seen like a handful like on the street where I'm walking. I'm like, oh, it's, so and so. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, gotcha but gotcha. like, yeah, more often than not, it's like I saw this person at IKEA, that person at a bar. Like that's that's more often than not. Yeah. I just wonder wonder what what emotion or what feeling would go over my body. I did see for the first time um, a few weeks ago. I was driving at night and I passed a. I was at a red light and there was a nice restaurant. I was passing like Beverly Hills and there was a nice restaurant. And I didn't pay attention until all of a sudden I was getting bombarded with lights and I turn around, I turned and it's just 50 paparazzi and somebody was walking like inside Whoa. and I was like, oh, that's the first time I've seen like that, um, which I was like, this is fucking stupid. Dude, we should when we come out there. You can go on one of those fucking stupid ass Hollywood tours. No, no, no. I, I, I want to. <laughs> I, sp- I live so close to Hollywood Boulevard. I see the fucking van star all the time. I did it when I went. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did you see anybody? Fuck no, exactly. dude. If you go up into the Hollywood Hills, everyone's houses have like giant walls. Yeah, you don't see you shit. Can't they see. just, they I just, wanna just do yeah, the they go, stuff. this is where Jennifer Aniston yeah, lives, and you're like, have to believe You them. look at a you're wall, like, you're like, okay. oh, that cool. might be true. Well, yeah, yeah, dude, exactly. Yeah, it's so like, I can just see the roof over these trees, but I can't see anything else. Yeah, and yeah. Then I think it's different. I think it's, well, I have seen a lot just like a personal, but I've, been around a lot just based on like what i do for sure for sure i mean when i was out there i stayed in pasadena which is a cool little area it's a cool area that's like that's i was i was just there for something i went to go pick a friend up i think but yeah that place nice nice area it's a nice not far from la but i made the mistake i got some great food while i was out there and i was i was out there to see blink 182 at the forum oh that's where are you yeah, it was it, that was sick, but yeah, I did make the mistake of doing some touristy stuff. Like Hollywood is like shithole, like you yeah, said. It is. The, it the, truly the is. The hills was stupid. Mm-hmm. Seeing the doing the star maps, and I went to a museum. Which one? The Museum of Death. Mm, it was the worst thing I've ever done in my life. Stupid. Sounds wild. Fucking there's horrible. there's very like I just went. Was and I was awful. really bummed. I went to the Academy Museum. They just opened in. Um, I went to it in March, and so it's all about like. It's supposed to be about, like, the greatest museum for, like, movies. And I was in and out in, like, 45 minutes. And I was like, okay. Like, it was so underwhelming. And I was like, fuck this, bro. The best museum I've ever been to happened to be in Miami. And I fucking hate Miami. Miami. It was the (laughs) sex museum. And it was all, but it was all, like, giant penises and, Uh like, vagina paintings and all this, like, crazy nudity and just whatever. There was a... There's something in the museum where it's a uh, ten foot tall golden penis and it's a throne. <laughs> Hell yeah! And you sit on the balls. It's like the Iron Dick. That's yeah. fire. Yeah, the yeah iron that was like dick. The, that was such a cool because I was we were I was with my buddies. I was like a freshman in college, and so I think this is the greatest thing ever. I'm like yeah. the Iron I'm like, bo- boobs. The like, I- it's it the great. Iron <laughs> Bone or. Uh, <laughs> I thought it was, honestly, yeah, I, I thought it was hilarious. <laughs> JD's like in the head's like, this is gonna kill <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I feel like I've only been in one museum. <laughs> we went in a couple in DC. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Like the Smithsonian yeah, with all the planes. I, that's and cool. That shit was my, fire, dude. My favorite museum ever, which I don't know if this is in. Uh, the Holocaust yeah, Museum. I, I, it was. It's a it's, great. It museum. is phenomenal. It's it a it great really is. museum. I feel it like is. I was at the Holo. You were okay <laughs> when we went to DC. Oh, that's in DC too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah see, I was there. I <laughs> there I, for some reason, I thought you were about to say. I feel like I was in the Holocaust. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've ever been to like a. F- I've been. I've been to two museums, and they're both in Pittsburgh. I've been to the the Warhol. The Warhol one's cool, and the Pittsburgh sports one. Sports I kind of, I kind of like Pittsburgh Sports Museum. I've been at Carnegie. Dude, Carnegie, Carnegie Science Center was the shit. It was cool when we were kids. Yeah. Would you Would you consider the NFL Hall of Fame a museum? No. <laughs> I, I mean, know it's such a random question, but it, I mean, it kind of. I, is. I mean, the Hall of Fames are cool, but like, it's pretty much just me reading a, an almanac. In looking person. at, yeah, looking yeah. at a bus, yeah, <laughs> sure. <Just> looking <laughs> at a bus, like it is. It's like it's nothing that's really gonna. S- I went to the new one. Where's they the they open a new. It's like a mini NFL Hall of Fame, but it's like official. Where in 
Myrtle Beach. Oh fuck, I didn't know that. Myrtle Beach. <laughs> it's wheeling with the at, ocean. At broad <laughs> at Broadway at the beach. Dude, I, I so like I went to it and I was like in and out in like fifteen minutes. Really? Yeah. 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 It was just like okay. a waste <laughs> of, Dude, of I, money. Dude, I I kind of I kind of like I kind of one night just want to go somewhere and just drink a lot of wine and wear a Dude. nice coat and yeah. go to a, a museum and just look at paintings. How about honestly? I, I would fun? have I would How have about fun instead doing instead of that, yeah. that wasting that kind of money and time. You come out. And you get a nice jacket. We can sip wine on a rooftop bar. That sounds okay. fun too. Right. Right. I'd rather do that than I'm walk down. around. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm down, down. Dude. dude. I'm down to sip some wine. I'm so bro, in. y'all, dude, y'all gotta come. You, out. I'm you, seriously, so you yeah. tell me, Brooke, like, babe, I got to. You, we'll you had me at sitting, dude. <laughs> yeah, we'll bring the girl. We'll bring the girl. You know, you know yeah, uh, bring the on my way to just... on my way to the my honeymoon, we went to Hawaii for two weeks. Oh, I had to connect in L.A. Oh, did you? And we got to L.A. It was like. 2 a.m. Mm. So we went to sleep because we've been traveling. When was your next flight? It was the next day around like 1 p.m. Oh, okay, damn. But what I did was I, w- we st- I had to go to a hotel by the airport. I woke up super early, took an Uber to the nearest dispensary, Yeah. stocked up for Hawaii, then went to In-N-Out, and then went to the airport. Now, what did you think of In-N-Out? It's That's a tough question. Because, 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 a because question. He, I know this is a big... The most popular one is by the airport. Well, that's, that's the one, the one that, that's the biggest one. The, fl- the planes come in over you. I stood there and just watched planes come in. It was pretty cool. But food-wise, see, I know this is a big debate on the West Coast. I haven't had the other big one. That Shake Shack? Pe- yeah, I haven't had it. Shake Shack's So fire. I can't compare it. If I'm honestly, honestly comparing the burgers to something that's back here, like Five Guys How is about, better. Dude, Five Thank God, In and Out is so fucking overrated. It's overrated. It's really over. But also, you What's like the other one. But it's good. Sh- yeah, it's, it's it's fine. Like it, yeah. it's whatever. But Bottom burger, but that's what I'm. Whatever but is all right for sure. Five Guys has a better burger. And then, al- and then also in L.A., Five Guys people make a big too. deal out of Carl's Jr. It's never had it, which I don't get because it's, Hardee's. it's Hardee's. It's the same thing. It's Hardee's. The same I, thing. I think for me it was turned off because I thought Hardee's was the biggest pile of dog shit. It wasn't really. very good, so I was like, I had no interest in going to Carl's Jr. Which it yeah. is so, it is crazy. I Shake, grew, Shake grew up right next to that Hardee's forever, and I literally probably have driven through it maybe like six times. You know, what? they had good milkshakes. That was, that'd be the I only reason I went. Having I remember getting a milkshake when I had surgery once, and I. I came out and I was like I want a fucking milkshake so my mom stopped at Hardee's and I remember it being really milk good milkshakes and they did have good breakfast sandwiches I too. never even got to try that yeah. Every, that's all that, I really that, looked for that uh, hibachi truck outside of Super Buffet mm-hmm. is really good I yeah. got it before it was at the coffee shop it was, was at the coffee shop it, well, it was over the summer, the summer I think it was yeah really really good it is good yeah. big fan people talk that place up that place I haven't good. had it I haven't had it either I love food like that though I still just talk up the pizza truck uh, I just had, I had it yesterday. Where's the pizza truck? It, they just travel around the valley. Oh, really? They like have a big fucking thing attached to the back of a truck, and the guy just slings pizzas into the big fucking coal and it's good? fire. Oh, it's phenomenal. Oh, like a, oh, like it's an actual like um brick oven kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, okay. well, it's like a custom made one, and oh, yeah, what? it's got a fire that's lit on the inside. They like make the fire. You know oh, what like I mean? It's wood, like a, yeah, it's a wood fired pizza. That's what oh, it's that's called. awesome. Yeah, Dude, ho- pretty- hopefully it ends up coming through. But I don't know if you guys saw, we got DM'd from. The So Nuts Donuts food truck, and they want to they want to pull up in front of the house and make us donuts before an episode. What? Yeah. Yes. That's, are, that's are, you, awesome. are you fucking with me, dude? I'm, I'll Have show you, you the answered them? Yeah. No. I've, yeah. I've been having conversations with them. What? Yeah. So it's gonna be sick. Yeah. What I, a we, surprise! Dude, we have to plan fire. a date. We need to try to make sure there's a lot of people here. Yeah. Well, we we uh basically because I asked them to be on the episode, and they said they would rather just drop donuts off first. Have us just try and blind and then come back on. I was like, that's fine. Bro, this is so fire. That is, that is fire. That is sweet. I got so excited because I was sitting there and I saw the DM and I was like, dude, donuts? I, I was I, like, let's I, go. I have no clue. Because, again, I don't have Instagram on my phone anymore. Yeah. And I nice. barely use my I, I only have. I tried to do this thing where I only put my social medias now on my iPad so that I'm not fucking dude, staring I, at my yes, phone all day. That's a great idea. That is a good idea. Yeah. I need to do that. I need to do that as well. I, I did delete much. TikTok, though. You did. I, I was spending too much time. I get so locked. Yeah. I I mean, the thing is, it's like, yeah, it's way too much I just time, think it... The ahead. videos that I find the, dude, I know are th- unreal. I, I, send love, them, I send them they're to so, you. I love TikTok. <laughs> I, I have some that are just so foul. But it's like, I feel like laying in bed 
before I go to sleep for like an hour watching TikToks probably isn't healthy for my brain. No. Dude, I saw you're struggling with iOS 16 too. I am, dude. I'm I'm <laughs> I'm actually really disappointed. Yeah. Like my internet and I know it's not I know it's not my internet. It's the phone because on multiple different Wi-Fi connections my safari, it's my Safari. It won't load websites. That's dumb. So now I have to use Google Chrome on my phone f- to load websites. Yeah. It's fucking stupid. Which I mean we we should I mean I assumed my phone will start not working in a couple months. Dude, it's the I mean, Apple conspiracy is 100% real. Well, dude, I'm pretty sure. Didn't they prove it to be true? Yeah. Yeah. No, like, they, they proved it. Um, it's your battery. It's that, And it's like some guy won the case. It was like your battery um, are designed to fail. But if you replace the battery, like some guy did it on his like iPhone 5. He just replaced it with a new battery and everything worked normal. It's their batteries. Interesting. It's like deteriorate. See, I have this. I think it goes further than that. I feel probably, like probably, I feel like probably. if you have an older model one, they, they fucking plant a little bug. For sure. After two years because they want you to buy a new phone. I mean, dude. I had the well, problem yeah. two years ago and now I'm having the problem now. And they've done that. They've done that not so subliminally by like changing chargers. And yeah. And, and that, that yeah. type of yeah. shit, too. Yeah. Which for I sure. saw. That's that's what the. Uh, Cause I'm gonna wait for the 15. So that's what I'm gonna do. Because they're coming out with the 15 Ultra, like they're coming out with an Ultra Watch this year, oh, yeah, and yeah. an Ultra Phone next year, and that's gonna be the first iPhone with the C. Because I guess in France they pass something that every phone that like people use in France past 2024 has to have a C the charger. USB-C. Yeah. I saw that. See, actually, the yeah. USB C, um, they're pretty good. But so my when I charge my phone. I have um, my, like, laptop charger. The new ones, you can just replace the USB-C. So I take the U- – the, I have one that's a USB-C that goes into an iPhone charger. So I just take my computer charger out and plug in the iPhone. My phone charges from, like, 0 to 100 in maybe 30 minutes. Yeah, like, really. It is crazy how fast it goes. It's nuts. Which I'm pretty sure the, the iPads – the iPad that I have is a C charger. We'll, we'll be around when they get rid of this, and it's just places you set your phone down. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. then that'll get people to only buy their AirPods, which are Bluetooth, right. and everything like that. Dude, I was so Damn against it. AirPods for a long They're time. Great. So was I. They are They're the awesome. best. They're awesome. Like they don't even move. I always thought. I was always like, no, that's a scam. They'll fall right out of your ear when you're running or walking or whatever the fuck. Nope. They are incredible i was just like i'll lose yeah i'll lose them like that's a stu- i don't that's stupid i don't need that which now i couldn't live without them which it's wild because i have the pros i gave jt the older the other ones and i think the other ones fit better in the ear better the than pros the, pros. Dude, like the rubber yeah fuck, see that's fuck I, those I, headphones I bro. Fucked up. back in the day skull candies were the worst yes they exact that's exactly what i was gonna say skull <laughs> skull can't that was skull candies design hated them they never Crash. stayed in because they never they, they come never. with like uh Three or four sizes. So, like, when I, you know, you get them, swap out, it's this ear, dude. Like, it always feels like it's going to fall out of this ear. So, just advice out there, anybody that wants AirPods, I would not go the pro route as long as they have the rubber because I I think the older ones fit better. Better, yeah. What is this little penis? Uh, that was a gift. This is, is it a paperweight? Gift to the pod. Yeah, that was a gift to the pod. Um, it was... And someone molded their dick and yeah, gave it to us. Yeah, it was us. in someone's purse, and I requested it, and I kept it. And now it's here, here on. I, uh, I love it I here on the table. I think it's a great, you know, it's like feng shui. <laughs> Thank you. It's very nice ambiance. Nice. Yeah, I would say so. All right, I think it's about uh, time. So, congrats to <laughs> Well. First off, Jake won the soup. Congrats on the soup winner. Thank you, Chili. Thank you. That is the number Which one. Which it is controversy. People no, are saying it's not it's soup. A, I'd call it a soup. I don't know how Whatever. it's not soup. Uh, what did you pick for that one? Tomato soup. That's a great one. Anybody pick French onion? No, no. That's what I said. I was surprised no one did. Damn, because there's nothing better than that big, thick piece of cheese. Mm. I love tomato soup. Um, <laughs> yeah. But, okay. And then this was our first tie. We had a tie this week on whose favorite villain is the favorite. And the tie, this is collusion. The two best answers didn't win, and the tie was Vontez Perfect and Team Rocket. So obviously, yeah, 
Uh, you and but Jay see, Todd, he, obviously he's playing he's playing the market of the area. First of all, I, I, <laughs> that's that's fucking I, bullshit. If, I, you, if you say like, "What's the best meal?" and he's like, "Oh, bro, sheets, two hot dogs." It's gonna <laughs> kill in feeling. I, I I have a couple things to say about this. One, I really thought the Heath Ledger answer would have won. Should have. Don't know how it didn't. Two, no offense to you. I don't know how yours won. I think that's a bullshit, dog, a dog answer. shit answer, and not no, no offense, dude. Listen, it it was. I tried to just keep it to where I wanted to make it a real life thing, and that was like the one yeah. thing that I remember that like everybody fucking. No, def- hated definitely respect something. to you for being the only one to pick a real life yeah villain. I dude, I'm shocked that they told that us many me Pokemon Hitler? fans. Yeah, but Hitler. He, you don't like Hitler. Yeah, like it's, I it's made a good okay, point. Okay. I made a good See, point. That's why I the said, question like, is hard because. It's not what's the best. Maybe I do it's, like. Well, who's your maybe I do. Like maybe he him. does. Maybe, okay. maybe I think that. Maybe you do. Gabagoo. <laughs> have you read Mein Kampf? Where's still? I actually <laughs> have, dude. I took a Nazi class in college, and they made us read Mein Kampf. Interesting. It was. Interesting. It was pretty. Just. It was just. That is interesting. Spewing nonsense, but I also felt really weird. I was just walking around with fucking Mein Kampf. <laughs> right. People were like, we were like, people look at like, this fucking uh, guy. Uh, I would just look at people. I would look for like big noses and just. <laughs> so that's so fucking bad. Whoops, sorry. Ricochet shot. Sorry, Chance. <laughs> Whoops. But y'all know the drill. Put a poll on Twitter. Vote who has the best answer to whose favorite is the favorite. This week, Jake, what is your favorite environment to drink a beer in? And I want give me some give me some details. So set, this, the, set the mood. This for us. just actually happened a couple weeks ago. Um, originally probably wouldn't have been on my top at all, but my favorite beer in this specific situation is when you've driven, let's say, two, three, four hours to a destination. Oh, this is already good. And you pull up to a gas station, you're like 10 or 15 minutes away from your final destination. And you're drinking in the car. You buy a beer. <laughs> yeah. I, do, I do not promote drinking and driving, Dude, that, but you a buy good, a case of beer yeah. and you, you drink your one roadie from the gas station. <laughs> Dude, to, that's honestly yeah. a very, to, very, to, so very good answer. It happened with me and Randy for Neil's bachelor party. Yeah. So, and, and that... That happened, and I was like, "Dude, this this beer is that's, that's that always is, a good beer. That's a that's great. A solid beer. That's yeah. a very that's a, good. That's answer. a solid beer. Yeah. Yep. So that that However, would be. My can, can I interject real quick? Yeah, that is a solid answer. And did you know? I just found this out. Alden, he yep. did a work, whatever in Mississippi. In Mississippi, it, this law has since changed, but a couple years ago it was still in effect. You were allowed to drink and drive. As long as you weren't over the limit, what? Like, what? you could drink a beer while driving. As long as if you got pulled over and breathalyzed, you were under the limit. Dude, so sure he, that, so under, he, under point oh eight. Yeah, I'm sure that never holds so, up. Though. So he said what he used to do every day, leaving his office, he'd take one beer with him to work every day. Yeah, and on the way home from work every day, would drink a beer. That's Dude, that's solid. Dude, imagine just pulling up yeah. to like a red light, seeing your buddy. Pull it, putting your beers yeah. up. <laughs> right? Cheers. But I guess it's changed now, probably. Cause, Damn. Well, I'm sure we all know probably why. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so that, that is, that's, that's mine. That's a good uh, answer. And again, that's probably a, a recency answer. bias answer, but that was the first mine's one. Mine's more, I think mine's recency too, but go ahead, Ted. So I almost thought these two were the same, but after I've been thinking about it, I think they're very different. But. And I'll I'll bring up what was my honorable mention when I'm done. But my favorite environment for beer, because I don't drink beer very often. I'm much more of a cocktail person. But I do love a good beer. The tailgate beer. Yeah, that's a great God answer, too. It, was... the, the t- oh, are you fucked? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, the tailgate beer. There's nothing better Fuck. than a tailgate that's parking a great lot answer. beer. Solid beer. It's a great beer. It's the first yeah. one. It's like 10 a.m. Yeah, it is. It's, it's the one where yep. you're allowed to drink that, that early. It yep. is. It's already tailgate sweating, beers bro. Is that, your, is that your answer? Yeah. <laughs> and I, did, I didn't have a backup this week. This might be the first time where, can I get skipped and come back? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Come back to me. <laughs> I was also thinking maybe we'll start doing the wheel. Of who goes first? Oh, like, that's a good idea. Because I like that. well, I think you're okay because his answers are always fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are set. Hey, dude. The winners should have the right answer. Hey, catching dubs, dude. Montes, are. Bro, that's catching so dubs. Dumb. It's like saying catching what's dubs, the best bro. college, and if you say WVU, you're winning for all these fucking hillbillies. Dude, listen, listen, dude. <laughs> right. we, were, we were number four in Sweden, dude. Do you think the Swedish people know about number WVU? Four in Sweden. What do you mean? Yeah, we were ranked number four at one point in the country of Sweden. In WVU. Our pod- no, the podcast. Really? Yeah. 
Yeah. Hmm. So you think these Swedes know about WV? They you think they know about Vontaze Perfect? I bet you Perfect? Eddie, they're like they're like what's the worst <laughs> like American <laughs> cultural thing? <laughs> Juice box and wheeling. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the Swedes love us, man. That's, they, awesome. that's honestly so fucking. Their their most uh, searched podcast is probably podcast with host with down syndrome <laughs> <laughs> and then they, they're just listening they're to just us juice. yeah <laughs> <laughs> no but yeah so mine the, it's it, it's the first one that came to my mind you know you're on vacation you know you're on the beach all day you, you go back to your house you shower you're all sun-kissed you're getting ready to go back out and you hit a nice beach bar you sit at the bar the bartender's got like a fucking peg leg or something. And there's just license plates hanging all over the wall. You're just listening to these bartenders so tell detailed. stories. I know exactly where he is right now, too. <laughs> and you're just sitting at a beach bar. Are you and Myrtle? Drinking beer. Hell no. Okay, I'm good. not Myrtle. Good. But just so my, the shorter version of my answer is the beach bar beer. That's a, that's a great answer. That's a great answer. Thank Thank you. I think that answer is better than your explanation. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. I actually think so, too. <laughs> <laughs> after I <laughs> thought it back. JT's like, well, I go home and I floss. Yeah. And then after Brush that, my going, teeth. <laughs> I put on a pair of fucking short shorts and a beach t shirt. And then the siren goes off and I get the call to go to this beach bar. That's yeah. the beer I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> now, beach bar beach bar beers are unreal. Yes. Very nice. That I that to to go and to help you think a little more because I know you're struggling. Uh, just just a beer like um when you go to the beach and you got a cooler, that's a that's a yeah. great fucking yeah, beer. That's too. a good beer. But see, like I I've learned. I love drinking on the the beach. That that's not what I'm saying here. I like after you're at the beach. Yeah, beer. That's when fair. you head out. Like you go home and then you head back out to meander through the beach town, and then you drink that. So beer. it's not necessarily like. I'm see when I think of beach bar, I'm thinking like, excuse me, Bless bar you. on the beach. Bless you. No, it's not necessary. It could be. It's not necessarily so like you're saying, like a a beer a beach, in a bar in a at, beach town. Yes, yeah. correct. Okay, more specific. Oddly specific, but yes. Okay, that's yes. fair. I like your answer less. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm talking myself into the, the hole here. <laughs> Sounds like I got to no I got to cut this this clip to make it sound the best. Short. Yeah. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm really struggling here, guys. You like beer? I love beer. I got a okay. I think I got my answer, and it's the uh, this only gets to happen like in the spring of every year. It's the Stanley Cup playoff beer. Okay, that's a good that's one. That's a great and, beer. And what I do normally for the playoffs every year, I'm a big Pens fan. Past couple of years haven't been so great since the back to backs, but I go to Pickles after work. It's usually after work, you know, in the evening. Get to fucking Pickles. That first beer they serve you. And I always do the same thing. They go, and do you want do you want a menu? I say, yes, I will take a menu, but I won't be ordering any food until after the first period. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. So then I sit there and I get my buzz, watch that's the a, first period. That to me is and a then order my wings. That feels like a very personal beer, which I have to respect. Yeah, yeah. it is. Yeah, not to say yours wasn't JT. No, yeah, you're yeah, good. good too. So yeah, this, yeah. the Stanley Cup playoff beer. <laughs> That's, 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 a good my one. that's a good one. Good now, one. do you guys have honorable mentions? I do. I have like eight. I have my my second choice was. It's it's actually like this time of year, mm -hmm. and you're at some kind of outdoor something. Yeah, whether it's your buddy's house where there's a bonfire or like some kind of event where there's music or whatever. But it's a fall beer. Like as night evening is yeah. approaching, the sun is going down. The air gets a little crispy. You got like a flannel and some sweatpants on, and you just drink that pumpkin beer. So that's almost what Disgusting. my answer was going to be. I was going to say an Ogilvy Fest, yeah, Oktoberfest beer. Like that beer. kind of vibe. Yeah. Yes. That's yeah. That time. was almost going to be my answer. Honorable mention for me is the first beer that you drink when you're with one of your friends, and it's the first time everybody's drinking inside when there's snow outside. And you decide to go pee outside while you're drink like you have that beer in your hand. Yeah, but that you're is, peeing yeah. In the that's snow. a good feeling. That is, that's a great one. That, that's a good that, one. The first time every year that happens, I'm always like, that's a good, I get excited. The steam's like, coming yeah, off. Yeah, the steam's snow. coming yeah. off. Yeah, yeah. you're I, like, ooh, yeah. <laughs> it's nice. I would say my honorable mention, and this is not for everybody because I know not, not everybody does this, but the first beer when you're playing golf. 
That's a good one. It's yeah. like yeah. You, you finish, but like you finish like the, beer you finish the nice. first hole, and you're like, God, that was rough. I need to crack one open. Mm-hmm. You crack that first one, and then those beers go down so nice. I almost said to the one that I was like, they're not the same, but like a tailgate beer, which is basically like a, a <laughs> not a. Pr- I mean, it is technically a pre-game, but a pre-game beer. Like yeah. before you're going out, yeah, that's yes. always nice too. Yeah, like that first beer out in the shower, you're changed, you're waiting for like your friends, the girls come over, or whatever, and yeah, for beer. sure. I and I know you, before before shots. Yeah. I know this one's too is could be is a good honorable mention. It's kind of like you said tailgate beer, but I have to say like the first beer once you're in the stadium, if you yeah, go in, I think you get your beer and you get to your seats. The game's about to start, yeah. no matter what game it is, whether you're at PNC Park or fucking wv stadium like that's a good beer another good really good one is a holiday beer mm-hmm. nice like you're at your family christmas party yep. thanksgiving yep. party <laughs> that is true the, oh. the beers, first the first thanksgiving beers, i love a good thanksgiving crack. Crack. especially good. when football starts yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's a good one those good beers one. are very that's good one. and then the the other one i know i've said it but it kind of relates to my answer one of my all-time favorite beers is the unloading of the truck or car when you get to your beach house. Yeah, right That's when you get one. right when you get That's there. So you pull the cooler yep. out first, you're cracking them, everybody's relaying shit in. And that, that is a that, very good one. I said this earlier, and I want to know your take on this, because I know, like, when there are people who, like, everyone's different when they go out. Some people go out, and it's strictly like, I'm drinking beer for the night at the bars. Other people, it's like, we're ripping shots or whatever. I'm myself... Like I said, I'm a cocktail guy. Mm-hmm. Once I have like three or four and I'm really feeling it, I know the next cocktail is going to throw me over. So I switch it up and I get a beer. After like three or four cocktails, that beer goes runs so smooth. Oh, yeah. And I just I feel like it's just the easiest beer to get down. And that's a f- really good beer. That's a good beer. I I Nowadays, I don't mix it up. I rarely even do shots anymore. Okay. But yeah, I know what you mean. Like... You're drinking liquor, and then you decide to get a beer because, you, yeah, I've been right there. Right, you know, You're like, if I do another mixed drink, it might put me over the edge. I'm fuck. I'm like the buzzing beer, like The heavy. beer will bring you back. Kind of, yeah. And I, you're right. It's crisp. It's I, like. It's smooth. Such you're, a sw- you're past that early, like, first sip of hop, apple, alcohol, yeah. whatever it is. You're already, like, it just, it's, it goes down like butter. I never thought I'd hit an age where I get upset when somebody comes back to the table and goes, I got shots. Yeah, really? But not, dude. Oh, dude. it depends. I'm down for like one, maybe no, two. Yeah. But the I people, hate it. The I can't people that make that one. their personality. Every uh-uh. like, no, but nope, like the nope, green tea me. shots, like the Vegas bombs. Again, I always we, do. We them really are. We Russian are like Yeager. really kind of past that now. Though. I am. I, I've been to the hole a few times recently, and I. I'm glad to say nobody brought rounds of shots back to the table. That's good. Now the other night, last Saturday night at the hole, I I I did do a nice cocktail mix of some shit okay it was it was nice i'll tell you about it after the pod but my my good i have to tell you about it after the pod my go-to which because the majority of like my greg's group or beer we just literally just drink beer the majority of the time a solid uh technique is like for instance last weekend when we got to the hole i went and bought two buckets of beer so here, guys, we'll drink this, and then I didn't have to buy a beer the rest of the night. That is the move. That is the move. Yes. We, we did Solid that in college. Yeah. yeah. The bar we went to, um, that was like pool tables and stuff. We'd hang out. They would do $7 pitchers of, like, PBR, and mm. you'd get, like, four or five glasses, and then that would that'd be great. And then it, pretty much because I'd go out with, like, five or six, like, homies, it would that would be the only time I would pay, too, because everybody else yeah. would just get pitchers and you keep your cup and shit. That, that's I miss good. those vibes. Like, those, yeah, yeah. The pitcher beer vibes. Well, see, I haven't done yeah, that in so long. I actually am getting back into beer. I, in college, because I didn't really start drinking, like, re, like drinking, drinking, until I turned 21. It wasn't that I was not into it. It was just in high school, I was smoking weed, so I didn't really care. And when I got to college, I was still smoking weed, but I would have like beers. And then once I turned 21, I could go to the bars. That's where it was like cocktail right. and trying stuff. And then I moved out. And now a lot of the people that I go out with are like my roommates, like, like his, his like gay friends that come out and his like girlfriends who are basically like just absolute dimes models and they're influencers and they care about their body. So all they do is shots. That's yeah. all they do. So they'll come over to pregame, and it's four 
four tequila or vodka, like nothing. And I'm just like, Jesus fucking Christ, right. bro. It's well, crazy. Dude, I've been on the tequila kick, man. Dude, tequila great. Tequila is great. Oh, you know what beer is? And I know people here can appreciate it, but it's so f- looked down on out in L.A. when I bought a, a case of it. Michelob Ultras. The oh, best. Awesome. Smooth as fuck. The best. They're, they are they're, good. They're, they're truly, truly great. Yeah. They're really good, yeah. and I, I I hate getting the Be shit. Be careful! Gets. I I have to say you can eventually get overdone on the ultras. That makes sense. Okay. Like yeah. I I kind of uh, don't same. like to drink them anymore because yeah. I've done what, it. What so are you much. What are you guys I'm, on? When it's when I'm drinking, when I'm pounding, just pounding beers, I'm just Miller Light. I like lo- I like to sip the a nice. Of beers. Yeah, I love to sip a couple dad beers, like a couple craft beers. I love craft yeah. beers, I, I, dude. I, craft beers are good. Yeah. IPAs are the biggest piece of dog I shit. Hate IPAs, dude. I love yeah. that. Those are my favorite. See, like, I you, like. Oh, IPAs are IPA or like a, a New England like the hazy IPA. That's kind of what I've been doing. Those watching are my, games my favorite because I limit the amount that I have to drink. But yeah, because the well, my thing was one. Yeah, they're they're super bitter, so they're tougher to get down. So you're not drinking as much. But my thing with IPA is, I drink one, I get so bloated, I feel like I ate a full fucking that, burrito. That's true. Yeah. I'm just like, I, and then I hit a Michelob Ultra and I drink three, and I'm like, so wow, like I'm the hazy, the hazy IPAs, they're also called I think New England Pale Ale, so yeah, Nipa or whatever. They're like lighter, like more like. F- Tro- I, I don't want to say I'm going to say tropical citrus like, elements yeah more there like fruity-ish flavor yeah and they don't really do that yeah I get what you're saying uh, yeah. I, sorry I'm turn- I sound like a snob right now <laughs> obviously like at most functions around town like ultras are free flowing so I'm still drinking them yeah. because they're there but but I don't enjoy the taste of them anymore oh, I do they, like a they, nice Corona sorry oh, yeah Mexican beer is the best what oh what y'all got to try this is they're so fun and it's a good way to like sip and just feel super easy my roommate got me on them and i have them every week baja fogs never heard of you them. take them you take a mexican beer like a corona dos Equis, um i would recommend pacificos and you take you take a good hefty first sip and then you add a shot of tequila no. and then a lime and then you like mix it whatever i've been scarred with those unreal <laughs> their name's different everywhere yeah. but they're so fun they're so good yeah, I've been, dude, good. I've I've been uh I've been on a tequila. I literally will just take tequila, buy Pedialyte packets, mix it all together, then pour juice and then more Pedialyte in there and drink Pedialyte and tequila, <laughs> and then the next morning I'm not hung over. <laughs> I'm just uh, foggy. N- uh, f- what's the word? Dehydrated. Dehydrated and foggy. Yeah, mm. and it, dude, it's it does it does the trick. It's I mean, disgusting, by the way. You gotta yeah, do what I you gotta do. You, I bet you it is. Yeah. He's made everybody taste it. They're fire, like, dude. They're so far. Can't do it though. But you gotta do you. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, but yeah. and and it's uh it's uh bush light apple season. Been seeing those everywhere. Love bush light. I'm not apple. still not over that pumpkin beer comment. Dude, pumpkin Disgusting. beers are so good. I'm a big. Uh, I will drink a few pumpkin beers, but this time of They're year so I'm good. really into Oktoberfests. I love Oktoberfest beer. I mean, dude, those are fun. That's what I mean. It's, I mean. Yeah, no, but I but mean, you know, but there are some that are pumpkin flavored. Yeah, the, but when I say. Pumpkin beer, like I just mean, like the October, like you know. Then say that. Th- it's all the same <laughs> fucking thing. <laughs> He's offended now. No, but like, yeah, <laughs> I like do. October, I, like I don't, fall even, I don't like any. I don't like, like pumpkin fall pies. Beer, are good. I don't. I can't like, do anything. Like I, I like Mar, like the traditional Oktoberfest, like a Marzen or whatever. Like they're v- really fucking good. But it's like, I don't know. I'm a cra- I'm a craft snob, but I don't like IPAs. I'm into like all craft beer. I even like like stouts and porters, but yeah, I pe- it's the bitter aftertaste for me yeah. that I I don't there, like. I got really into because being in Colorado and Boulder, especially, there's a lot of like local craft beers oh, that yeah. you try. So like some of my favorite beers are not like you can't just like buy them. Right, like, like you could buy them in Boulder. They would sell them at the store but, there. But, but I love that. Like so I good. I love it's one called a White Rascal. Have you ever come across a White Rascal? Buy it. It's so good. It's a, I think it's a, uh, I think it's a wheat. So it has like a citrusy kind of mm-hmm. taste. It's kind of like it, to me, it's a way better blue moon. Okay, yeah. I see. I like blue see, moons. But I, but I love that about craft beer that it's like a local thing. Yeah, it's like, like a like it's a whole yeah. thing. Yeah, like, like there a, there was experience. some beer that like when yeah. I lived in Raleigh, there was some beer down there that I, I'll yeah, never I be able to drink same. again that's, unless I go to Raleigh. And it was some good ass. That's beer. why I like that. Probably yeah, order. probably. And then, and then I love. That. There's so many good little breweries around the state of West Virginia, dude. Yeah. Yep. 
Some really dude, like. I assume there are, man. Oh, it's just in Elkins, dude. Big Timber. Big yeah. Timber's down yeah. there. Yeah, okay. Uh, um, high ground was close to where we were at for Deep Creek. Like when you cross back into the state, where we were Bruce going to place Mills? the bets. No, no, no. Oh, Terra Alta. Terra Alta. There, they have good fucking beer. They do beer. have good beer. Yeah, no, I, I, I guess I actually have never really thought of it that way, but that's a hundred percent accurate. Like, it's we'll, like a yeah. It's we'll like go to a, the breweries mm-hmm. in the Outer Banks and the North Carolina mm-hmm. stuff, and that's you only ever see that shit there. So that is yeah. kind of cool about craft beer, actually. Yeah. Cool. it is a very localized like next little experience. Yeah. And, th- and yeah. th- this one's not craft, but it was just because of where we were being so close. But um, Boulder, I think the beer I drank, I've, the beer I've drank the most, having the most amount of beer drinking was in college, was uh, Coors Banquet. Because the Coors Brewery oh, is right dude, the, fucking there. The Coors Banquet beer, Whoop. dude. It, I it, love it, Coors it Banquet. Tastes, it's good. It tastes different in Colorado. It's um, yeah, way I'm better. Sure it's so yeah. close. It's I'm they're sure just it's so better. fresh. Whatever. I had one. I had one recently, and I was like, I don't know. It's just not as good. It's it's good. You know. I mean, it makes banquet. sense. Definitely I like Coors sense. Banquet a lot. Yes. I like Coors Light. Dude, going to the museum. The museum or another. You, you can get a sorry a brewery tour in. Um, it's in. Um, it's in Golden, Colorado, which is like pretty close, and. The the museum is free, and at the end of the at the end of the museum, you get two beers. Oh, that's Damn, sick. great! That's I like oh, that. that's the really museum cool. was like fine, or not museum. The brewery was fine. You just see these big kettles of them making beer. It's like okay, let's let's do this as quick as we can. Yeah, dude, I want to go to Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge to get all the whiskey distilleries Ooh, down there. Ooh, yeah, that's something. That, I want to do. I want to do. I would list. like to go to Tennessee. To yeah, do that. I also I really want to go to Ireland. I want to go oh, to sick. Tennessee. I want to like, go to Ireland. Irish so whiskey. I want to go to Asheville, factory. North Carolina. Because there's like a dope. lot of good, lot of good beers. I was supposed to go to Ireland for my honeymoon. Oh, we changed it up to Hawaii last minute. Damn. Why? That would have been sick, yeah. though. Yeah. I really. I still go plan to go. I want to go to Amsterdam too. To go. It was to the, that um, was also on the same trip. Ooh, that would have been sick. That's I was done, supposed to go to Ireland, Amsterdam. Shrooms. Yep, Ireland, Amsterdam, uh, London. Oh, and like a. You sound like you're from yeah, London. So London. You know, if you say um, Birmingham, also. <laughs> Peaky blinders. Um, if you Birmingham. Say, Birmingham. If you say beer can. In a British accent, Be- bacon. It sounds like you're saying bacon in a Jamaican, Jamaican accent. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! We'll try it out. Be- I, can't, I can't say it right say, now. Like, beer con. You know, would you like a cup of tea? But say it with like beer. beer would you con. like a beer con? <laughs> it does. Beer con. What do you want to do? Sandwich. I want some bacon. 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 Beer. Beer beer bacon con. on the beer. Oh, That's fuck. so good. Has Anything it been else? a time? Yeah, I'm trying to think. I truthfully, I didn't have very many quick, quick hitter things that happened this week. Anything you want to bring up? Talk about? Um, spill some tea? I don't know. Spill some tea. Oh, th- this is not some tea, but I want to get y'all's opinion on this. All right. So I'm getting a new roommate because one of my roommates, uh, he's moving. He moved to Santa Monica because he he woke up and surfed every day, so it was like an hour drive every morning, and then he come back. And he's got a new girlfriend who lives up there, so she, he moved, and it, like we're so cool and everything. We're getting a new roommate who is my other roommate's like good friend from like childhood growing up. It's a it's also a girl. Now, she probably won't watch this, but this is the predicament. That's just why it's funny. So I'll I make live sure to cut this clip. That's fine. I live with my roommate uh Tony and Noah and we have an empty room now and it's this girl named I'll just give her the different name. Let's just say her name's Emma. Emma. So Emma's moving in. Now here's the funny thing. In college I slept with Emma Ooh, a few times. Yeah. After we graduated, Emma slept with my other roommate Noah a Ooh, few times. Fuck. Didn't now see she's coming. moving in and she's got a boyfriend. They're doing long distance. It's weird. Here's the here's the part that's fucking crazy. No such thing. She considers herself to be a medium. Oh god. That's like, awesome. Like a psychic. Like she speaks to spirits and oh, shit. Lord. Let's go, dude. No. This n- is no. sick. <laughs> so okay, she came hey, out. Hey, sh- is she an easy medium? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, no. She's she's very well put together. Damn, that was good. But like. that was a good one, though. I respect that. <laughs> Thank you. Um, but okay, so <laughs> she considers herself a medium. She's talked about it. Whatever. So she comes out two weeks ago to look at the room and to see what's going on before she officially moves out from Colorado. Oh, this is about to get freaky. We're sitting at dinner, and she's <laughs> sitting next to me at dinner. It's me, my roommate, her, her friend, and her dad came, and she's sitting next to me. And we're talking a normal conversation about the weather. Just that's to say what it is. We're talking about the weather. All of a sudden, she goes, oh, sorry, sorry. Um, 
your dad just walked by. I hate that. I hate that so much. Yeah, dude. And I looked at her and I said, what? I I hate that. She goes, now. you're, you're like that his aspiration or spirit just walked by. Nope. And I, dude, I didn't care that her fucking dad was there. I looked at her and I said, don't ever fucking say that to me again. On top of one, me just not fucking with the medium shit. I was having a great night, and now you brought up my dead dad. Agreed. Thanks. Right. Like, didn't want to, de- didn't want to deal with that. And I was just like, and she was like, oh, okay. I'm like, no, you're good. Just like a boundary. Now that you know, just don't fucking talk about that shit with me. And she was like, okay. The next morning, she texts me. And she's like, hey, sorry again for last night. And I was like, hey, don't worry about it. No biggie. She then proceeds to, to go s- on about to it. say like, I just wanted to say like, when he passed by, he had spoken to me, and he wants me to tell you like all this shit. And I was like, fuck. Off. Yeah. Now, dude. if she said something to me that was like only me and my dad would yeah. know, if she said something like that, that's where I'd be like, wow, that's she said something so impressive. basic. It was like, like he's, oh, he's he proud he of you. I'm you. like, I know he's not. Yeah. I was like, he's not. I've done some stupid shit. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, no. I was like, that's fucking bullshit. Like, I Damn. was like, don't fucking, don't fucking do that to me. So yeah, that's what I'm, that's what I'm moving in with. That or she's moving in. Sucks. sucks. Yeah, that was wild. And so we, I told her, I was like, you cannot do any of that shit around me and then my roommate noah was like yeah you can't i don't want to see that shit either so that was like one thing we've already set a boundary and she's not even moved in i just think Uh. that's like that's like an extremely weird arrogant and bold thing to say bro yeah it was just like i was like what that that we we squashed it i was just but i was just like yeah Yeah. like don't fucking but i also it's funny though what did she think you were gonna do she, what, what, do you want me to like turn around and be like, where? Like, yeah. <laughs> where is he? I can smell his clothes. Like, like, d- like, did she think you were gonna lean in and be like, tell me more? Yeah, like, no, that, what? Dude, that's what she kind of wants. But like, all right, you're good. No, you're good. Um, I, I like, like you said, there's like a sense of arrogance almost for whatever reason. It's kind of like, why just would like, you like? I don't know. To me, yeah. Well, I'm just. I don't even know how one gets into that lifestyle dude yeah so for me it's hard for to me it just i i just think it's so inappropriate that it agree it was yeah it was kind of like a i would have t- if it would have been me in your shoes i could tell you it would have went a lot worse dude i, so I, I was just like i was you. just kind of like i'm just i could have gone off more but i was just like don't want to do it but like also my roommates know like the ones i live with now I don't. I don't talk about my dad at yeah. all. It's. I just. I. It's just something that I deal with like myself. I don't. Yeah. I don't want to burden them with right. it or anything like that. But I also just don't like like talking about it. And it was just so like, why bring it up? Yeah. Like why? Strange. It's very. Bring very. It? Why very off putting. Yeah. It was. It was. And then apparently, oh, she's. She won't see this, but I don't really give a shit. She. <laughs> so this is another thing she did. She dated this guy in high school. In Colorado. That was eight years ago. That guy grew up, became a police officer, got married or something, and a few weeks ago was killed in action. She then decides to post on her Facebook page a public post, a, like, medium, like, seance, like, essay about this guy, and she ended up, like, uh, saying like how they dated in high school and like she brought up all this stuff. The guy, the officer who was killed, his wife messaged her and was like, fuck you for saying all that shit. They don't need to know that you dated him in high school and doesn't matter, whatever. Her response to that, Emma, was sorry i just i just felt like i could i can deal with spirits and i want you to know that he was there with you at the funeral standing next to you and happy of the woman you've become and all this shit and i was just like it's like a power play dude almost no but like see like i'm not she's nuts i just came back into this (laughs) that's it i'm not even one to like i i believe that that could be real but like saying something so not so bland yeah. is like that if, if, is where it's she dumb was, if, she, if she said some yeah. something so specific like exactly. he 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 mentioned the the time you and him went to whatever the fuck yeah that would have been that would have been very different yes yeah, that's like, where and I, I said it, i brought this up to my mom and my mom was like what the fuck and yeah. yeah she's the one who said to me she was like well if he if she would have been like oh yeah when yeah something very specific yeah. then it would have been like Okay, oh, maybe I'm, all, she, I'm all ears, yeah. but I don't fucking like this, but I'm yeah. all ears. But yeah. yeah, you're right. And there's also, she could have done so much stuff like, oh, the aura's bad in here, or she like burns incense or whatever the fuck, but like, 
so fucking specific. Yeah. Like, what do you? I was like, oh my god, why? I was like, why the fuck did you do that? Yeah. 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 It it's it it's like to sum it all up to me. It's kind of like a fucking power play move being like i know everything that's fucking happening in this apartment type deal it's just weird yeah or I like mean, she could kill a vibe like dude right. uh, that's that's what she, i'm worried I, yeah, about listen, for she, you she, she, she's great can't ever take her out with you dude i mean like what if you're having a great what if she's jealous or something and you're hooking up with some you're about to get some girl and she's like no like no like a spirit just came to me and said if you go home with her, she's gonna murder you, or oh, like right. some dumb shit. Yeah, there's, like there's, there's a lot, there's <laughs> a lot that I could go into about this, this girl, and I, I, I won't. But, um, I mean, all in all, she might be a nice girl. She, we're being listen, a hater she, right listen, now. Yeah, she, we're being haters, she, but... she's super nice. She has, she, she has good intentions. No, I, I know deep down, she was like me saying that might bring some light. But mm-hmm. at the end of the day, I was like, I don't fuck, which you, fuck you, fuck you up. probably are right. She probably was. In her head, doing it to try to she, like yeah, relate. She, yeah, or so like I, that's why you kind of just take her with a grain of salt. And but I'm, it is I'm, so I'm a pretty past person. It takes a lot for me to really blow up on somebody. Yeah, I just I don't like confrontation. Not that I avoid it, but like if I don't have to do anything, I just fucking won't. But um, okay. To end this on a lighter note, this is this is the two fucking guys that I live with, and just how fucking just oh my god, how illiterate they are. Um, <laughs> we were watching a movie. My roommate Tony, my roommate Noah. Let me let me just also stress that Tony is one of my writing partners, so he's a writer, and Noah is a kid who in the eighth grade was put in a special ed class, <laughs> and it's he's the greatest dude in the world though. <laughs> always in the best mood, always funny. He's normal. He's not he's not like special ed, but he was just he was a slow learner, but he's the best. We're watching a movie like a couple weeks ago, and there is an urn in the shot, and my roommate Noah's like, "Oh damn, they busting out the urn." <laughs> and I, I looked at him, I was like, what, what? And he was like, the yearn. And my Tony and I look at each other, we're like, that's not, a, it's not called a yearn. And he's like, well, what is it called? And I was, we're like, it's an urn. And he was like, what, a urn? Just spell that shit. And Tony, so confidently, looks at him and goes, E-R-N, dude. <laughs> I was like, bro, are you fucking serious, bro? This is, okay, another shot at Tony, just because I love him. Being a writer. We he some, when we write sometimes it's um we'll have all of our scenes laid out and then just to make things more efficient it's like I'll do scene one he writes scene two I'll do three and then we just go back and check each other's work and like break it down like that he was writing something once and then I was looking over his stuff and I was reading something and um he had something like the line was like um. It was something minus, like M I N U S, like minus. And I was like, it didn't make sense. I was like, Tony, what are you fucking trying to say here? Like minus? And he was like, No, like, like might as well. You like might as well. <laughs> no. And way. I was like, What? <laughs> and he goes like, Yeah, you know, like you might as well go to the store later. And I was like, And you wrote minus. And he was like, Yeah. I was like, you mean might as, <laughs> might as well. And he was like, Oh fuck, Mine. that's funny. That is really dude. Funny. That's the kind of shit. And he can't spell. It's so funny. W h i t. Yeah. E. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Anything else? No. I think I'm Gucci, good. Bro. Yeah. No. Great. Po- great solid episode. Epi. It's almost two hours again. Yeah. Great. Great having you back with us. Dude, Make I, sure. Yeah. Can't wait to come again. Yeah. Can't for sure. Make sure to follow Twitter, Instagram at Juice Fisherman and just subscribe to the YouTube. Thank you. Thank you, Ted. It's always a blast when always you're here with, with us. Y'all. Seriously. You can catch me at John Theodore Nixon on Instagram. That's John Theodore Nixon on Instagram. I'm on the Juice Box Podcast Twitter. That's at the Juice Box Pod. That's at the Juice Box Pod. Follow us on Facebook, the Juice Box Podcast. We are not the Diabetes, the Juice Box Podcast. Anything you want to plug? <laughs> Yeah, I'm <laughs> Is that funny? <laughs> that that I was hate, I hate when we have a guest and it gets around to me because then I got to be the third person to thank you. And oh, it's like thank you, thank you, but thank see, you, hey, thank you, thank you, you know what? You. But yours seems the most thank genuine. You. It is genuine. It's it seems genuine. the most. Genuine. Yeah, I'm not fake. These guys, <laughs> they're, they're I could go on and on. About they it. they bring me here like a sweatshop. <laughs> Seriously, JT's like you're coming Thursday. Yeah, yeah. I just <laughs> genuinely enjoy your company. It's yeah, like, right. Unbelievable. Facts. All right. <laughs> Thanks for being here. Yeah, thank you guys. Thank you guys. Um, I'm only available for comment on Twitter. Twitter handle is at Juicebox Czar. That's Juicebox Czar. That's Z A 
R. Z as in zebra, A as in apple, R as in Reebok. Reebok. I knew that one. <laughs> Don't get it twisted. Bye-bye.